got so many necklaces. Why you got necklaces? Cheeks. White people be like. We are so back. White people be like. Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? Hi. Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? White people be like, Hi. White people be like, Green needle. So many necklaces. Why you got necklaces? Axela. White people be like. Kaksi years. White people be like. White people be like. He. White people be like, Lord Monkey. Girl, <laughs> hey girl, hey girl, what's up, what's up girl?
What's up, girl? <clears throat> We're back on the saddle, guys. We have returned back in the stew. We're back streaming on Twitch. Um, can I get a Jake S in chat? Lala. Can I get a Jake S? Yup. That's what I love to see. How's, um, how's everybody doing? How's, uh, how was the weekend? White people be like, good, 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 good. That's awesome. I'm still in post orgasm from the fabulous subway I had earlier. Okay. Hey. Uh. Jersey Mike's. Yeah, Jersey Mike's. Got a UTI while you were gone. That's not... That's not my fault. I can't, uh... You gotta... You gotta take... You gotta take that responsibility for yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got my hands up. I'm saying I don't... I can't... I can't... I can't do anything here. Um... White people be like... Hey, what's up, Slushy? Good to see you. Good to see you, Slushy. What was I gone? Like five days, y'all? Shit. Well, we're back now. Uh, shit's really been kicking off, huh? I didn't have much... Uh, internet uh while i was away uh and then when i got back shit was going crazy so i guess we can uh we'll have something to talk about white people be like um I don't know what is going on in TBH. All I see is the bear. <laughs> oh, I saw something about the bear, all right. I saw something about the bear. And, uh... Let's just say... Some of y'all, it's time to shut the fuck up. It's time to pack it up and shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Some of y'all, it's time to admit that you're delusional. Stop trying to ruin my fucking show. <clears throat> it's a great, it was, I'm not gonna lie. Fully honest, transparency. So, to those that don't know, um, I don't know if it was Jeremy Allen White or who it was. Somebody from the show said, there is not going to be a, oh yeah, 
Jeremy Allen White and Ioetta Beery both say their characters will have no romantic implications in the Bear Season 3. And when I saw that tweet, fully honest, I let out a little, yes! They said nothing about Season 4. Look, all I ask is that people just leave it alone. <laughs> all right, let, season four, we'll have this argument again, but can can it just fucking like can we watch an a, a season of the bear? Well, to be fair, this is really like a a last season development. Um, although I wasn't really there when season one dropped, but. Last season, it, it, like, all the bear content I got on my feed was just, like, little shipping edits and shit. And I was like, man, there's so much more. There's so much more on the fucking screen. They wouldn't spoil it. So You people are so fucking delusional. This is... I hope that this delusion does not carry into other aspects of your life. Because this is, like, a concerning level of cope. Like that's, we gotta, we gotta like fucking calm down. All right. It's, it's, it's. Can I ask why y'all are so against this ship? Because I think 99% of the examples that are brought forward are kind of forced uh, by some of the most annoying people on the internet. And I'm sorry, I know I'm old enough and I should no longer pay attention to the annoying people on the internet. But when I really love a show, it really grinds my fucking gears. Because um, I don't know, I just think it's kind of annoying to make the show about shipping them. You know what I mean? It's it's just like, it's, it's just, it's just... Uh, there's so much more to the show, and I, I really don't even think it's, like, the, 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 the point of the fucking show. So I, I, I think it's, like, I don't know, man. I just love arguing. Can I be honest with you? I love arguing with people when I know I'm right, to be honest with you. Um, it's, it's, uh, I think uh, it just feels really good. It's not about shipping. It's about love. Like, what? <laughs> Okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, what else has transpired while I was gone? What else? What else is happening in this world? Y'all gotta like give me an update. Dr. Disrespect DMs. Okay, let's be very specific about this, okay? Let's be super specific about this. They were whispers, okay? Twitch whispers. You cannot forget that part. It was Twitch whispers, okay? Some of the most niche methods of grooming we've ever seen in the game were employed in this situation, okay? This is, this is new fucking... We're charting new territory here, okay? This has not been done before. I didn't know anybody used Twitch whispers other than to complain about the fact that they've just been banned for saying a bunch of slurs in the chat. I this, I didn't know people actually use that shit to communicate. I th this this shit is crazy to me. Um I I was talking to Hunter about this. Um a long time ago, I heard a rumor about Twitch whispers and a minor regarding Dr. Disrespect. And I genuinely deleted it from my brain because it sounded so ridiculous. And then when this shit came out again, I was like, oh my fucking God, that shit was actually real. I, there was a point where I thought back to that and I was thinking to myself, like, I, I'm pretty sure like I saw this in a dream. Cause you know, I have that thing where I see a dream and then I wake up and I think it's real. That's how I thought about hearing that because I hadn't really talked to anybody else about it. I was just, I, I heard it from somebody. Um, and 
turns out it's real. Turns out someone did say that to me, and it's actually happened. Uh, and we're talking about a guy here who multiple times, two times actually, in his career, he's had like one of the most like awkward moments on stream where he looks down at his phone and he realizes that his, um, his life is over. Because it happened when he got banned on Twitch. And he, he, it was like that fucking bizarre ass shit where he started talking about like David Icke and he put on like a, a, a Roblox video <laughs> while he was sitting there disassociating, thinking about how fucked he is. Um, and then it happened again with... Uh, and this time it was like Elden Ring music. Like the Elden Ring music beautifully timed with the fucking like expressions in his face this is the most like fucking bizarre shit i've seen in my life his apology for cheating on his wife is pretty funny like this guy has like some of the most fucking bizarre stream moments <laughs> like his you get like a good including the fucking um twitch band clip which is like eight minutes long of him just sitting there with like a roblox hide and seek video playing in the background you get like a good like 14 minute compilation of this shit happening on a stream and it's so I cannot believe it. Um And then you have like his ride or die 30 year old parasocial men that watch him that are like in the chat that are like we love you doc. Doc, you're going to come back from this man. You're going to bounce back. This they they're not going to get you, man. Um And it, it just all adds up to uh just a crazy concoction. Like this. This like. Fucking. I want to see if I can find this clip. But this like new one where he's playing Elden Ring and then the he, he looks down at his phone and clearly like. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it right here. This is just like... <laughs> you know how we run things here. Looks down at his phone. And he goes like... Music hits. <laughs> And he realizes, oh fuck, it's over. I remember you showing Jake this, it was so funny. No, 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 no! The thing I showed Jake is a different clip. This is the second time this has happened. That, this is what I'm talking about. This is the second time this has happened to this guy. This is, this happened like two days ago. This is multiple times. I'll, uh, don't worry, I'll pull up the fucking Twitch ban one too, cause I just gotta show you guys that shit again, because that shit was crazy. And then he always does. <laughs> you can always tell when he when like something like fucked up has happened to him because he always starts doing like the lip gulp thing. It's crazy. It's like um, he's very animated. Um, and then uh, fucking. I wonder if there's a clip of uh, he he like right at the end of that stream he gave this like he said he was gonna quit he was gonna leave or some shit hold on let me see if I can find this oh yeah this JCS ass analysis <laughs> I think I when I say step away I think I mean I'm gonna have to either have to relate this to the midnight society but I you know. Maybe I step away from there, too. Just completely remove. Body language experts commonly use this to define anxiety. The constant shaking of his head. Let's go check. Myself from the scene. It's what I need to do. I mean, I... Right? Take all the time you need, says Layer Cake. I appreciate that. <laughs> Layer Cake? What the fuck kind of actually chat-ass name is that, bro? Is one of y'all in there? I appreciate that. Give me back my duck! Don't be a pussy. God damn it. 
<laughs> Don't be a pussy. Uh, I'm telling you, it's fatigue. It's tired. It's wanting to just kind of move away from the limelight. <laughs> Ultimately, that's what it's about. You know what I mean, champs? You know what I mean, champs? Damn, now what? I mean, shit, there's 50 million other streamers you can watch right now. It's getting old, yo. <laughs> What's getting old? Get the break. Respect it, Doc. Okay, I appreciate that. It's getting old. You're not alone. That's not very nice. You don't like me? <laughs> oh, my fucking God, dude. To drive into the sunset, says Swervin. Oof, man, I like your style. It might be time to drive in the sunset, champs. I appreciate all of you. Appreciate all the commitments, the recommitments. Please do me a favor. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Can you read the chat messages like that? Like, say the chatter's name? No. I will never read my chatter's names. I will never acknowledge anybody that's in this chat, ever. I could never. Nah, I'm just kidding, man. Some of y'all I acknowledge, you know what I mean? I, sometimes I read out your name and then I, I yell at you. I say, STOP! You know what I mean? Um, oh, also, let's quickly thank the subs, speaking of viewer names. And then I'll show you the, we'll take a trip down memory lane. Jimmy Carter, uh, thank you for the 14 months. Frames of Nick, 21 months, love you. It's M8, thank you for the 34 months. Meg Angeline, 25 months. Anna Bam, nine months. Came as Katia, 37 months. Nelly Bean, 22 months. Nervous, 21 months. Shroom Fee, 15 months. Wonder Cuz, uh, seven months. Uh, Joey Beans, 23 months. Ham Girl, 2, 4 months. Plato Worms, 12 months. Wiz Rain, 24 months. Simon Tits, 37 months. Kari B, 26 months. Bree Real, 10 months. Ernie Isn't Alive, 22 months. Rigby Kardashian, 15 months. Nilo K. Cool, 20 months. Lantastic, 9 months. Lives Online, 35 months. Laloon, 17 months. Dyslexic Femcell, 4 months. Um, the first time that this happened, thank you for the subs, by the way, everybody. Appreciate the warm welcome back. I feel like I'm right at home. You know his ass is tired of reading these? I will never get tired of reading out subs. Are you kidding me? That's like the best fucking shit of my life. Um, let me see if I can find the, here it is. I, I totally understand why you would think that this is the same clip, because it literally looks like the same. Clemism, uh, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you so much. Data miners found a giant rocket under the map in between park and downtown. <laughs> so then, you know, here he's just chilling or whatever. Um, same thing happens. Same thing happens. He's chilling. Oh! What did you get? A text? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Watch me take over. I love it, man. See the self-confidence in the chat? That's what I'm talking about. The, 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 the Today is my birthday and my friend is making me watch you for the first time, Mr. Streamer, man. Okay, that... I mean, I'm glad you're here, but that's got to be like one of the worst birthday gifts I've ever seen in my life. Oh, confidence of the Champions Happy Club. Birthday, it's at though. an all-time high and don't ever stop. Please, don't ever stop. You got to be strong in this world, man. <laughs> I was watching... Uh, so I should just put it on just chat. Wait, look at this. Like, what I, I what is this? Get off, but now I don't want to get off. Oh, 
was watching that doc documentary on uh what's this guy uh ike ike like he gets a text message where they're like they're gonna ban your ass they got you and then he's like oh fuck quick i gotta get i gotta get the david ike reference out which uh to those that don't know if I remember correctly, David Icke is a uh, very racist conspiracy theorist. Um, I forget all the shit that he spreads, but uh, there's some gnarly shit in there, man. Um, so I'll, out of nowhere, he's just like, he starts like, he's like, I bought his book. ICKE. Older gentleman. He was the guy who made the lizard people thing popular. Anybody know who I'm talking about? I forgot his first name. <laughs> David Ike. Yes, Alex. Yes. I like him. I like him. Even if like it's it's like it just kind of, you know, rather than this, it's on Netflix. I believe it's on Netflix <laughs> or is it Amazon? It's one of the two. It's either Amazon or Netflix. I just like a little documentary on him. pretty enlightening all it allows you to do is just sort of like you know allows you to step outside of the box just a little he's banned from 26 european countries okay. what a great guy to give a shout out to some of the stuff <laughs> is not true not whatever i think the whole the whole goal though is to wake up <laughs> <laughs> wake up White people be like Maybelline, thank you. I actually bought uh, Mrs. Assassin bought the book. Actually, not me. I shouldn't take the credit. Cause she's staring at me right now with a blade, saying, "Uh, -uh I did." Also, I need everybody to understand for context that like nobody really knew what happened until like recently. Um, he did this live stream, and then he was perma banned off Twitch, and nobody said the reason why. Uh, this like bizarre ass last eight minutes of his stream and then he just got perma banned. So it was like, there were a lot of conspiracy theories. They were like, he's getting arrested. Like he, when he looks down at the phone, he got a text where it's like, there's a SWAT team outside. <laughs> like, like shit like that. Um, I, I remember people were going pretty crazy about it. Bought his book too. Oh, well, he bought his book. Things like this thick. I'm gonna read it though. Tomorrow, will you be playing uh, yeah. Roblox Hide and Seek Extreme on stream? Hold on, what's that? <laughs> Roblox. <laughs> Roblox. Hide and Seek Extreme. MMORPG for real fantasy fans. <laughs> the fucking Raid Shadow Legends no ad. Hello, Crash Nation. It's Crash. <laughs> I'm here with Chris. Hello. And today we're playing hide and seek. Yeah, let's throw him a taunt. He has the camera guy, so. Oh, Can yeah. I come out as a lesbian on here? Oh, this is sure. Page. Oh, yeah, the bedroom. The bedroom. Let's go. Let's go. And then he just knows this teleport, sits here. Yeah, let's go to our. You want to do the pillow one or the drawer one? Hmm, let's do the pillow one. He just he sits here. the drawer one first, always. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Okay, well, I am excited. I love, I've been loving playing hide and seek lately. Yeah, was this also for Whispering Miners? Yeah, this is, this is like, this all is linked because this is when he got banned from Twitch, when Twitch found out. Um, and, uh... Dick thing? I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> this is all the same shit. How come this is from like, I thought we had time what was this, like 2021? 20, uh, 20, 20, 20, oh, yeah. 20? Or, oh. or does it just say that when people leave the game? Oh, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Maybe? Let me see. Yeah, it's still in there. They should not be being found right now. What's going on? That is weird. Um, oh, I'm trying to get on the tip of that. Yeah. He's still just out. sitting there. Oh, I can't skip man, forward because this is, Wait, this is cinema. Oh. oh, that was easy. I <laughs> guess they left. Wow, good job. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, let's see what map we get next. He whispering like minor on Roblox. Really no, he. It, it was Twitch, guys. It was Twitch. Got you. I was on top of the night. Oh wow, that's 
that's crazy. Like, and then he does, <laughs> he does, he does this transition. And now it's full screen, and he's still just sitting there. Unless, of course, you are the speaker. Oh no! And then everyone. And guys, you will not guess the first thing that leaves his mouth after these minutes of silence. One's in big trouble. Dun dun dun! That would be bad. That would be bad. Let's see. I have a nine point oh. Whenever that happens, it might be in like fifteen minutes. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, I thought it was gonna be you for sure. It's getting close. It's getting close. Okay. See you later. Good luck finding us, boy. <laughs> let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh no! Taunt, taunt, like this is so crazy. He was just—you guys are taunting her. I did not taunt her. This. I was. I was literally like telling Nick this earlier, but like imagine this playing in your ears as you realize that like you're fucked. <laughs> like you have this like Minecraft or me Minecraft fucking Roblox let's play in your ears. Time, let's go. Can you hide? Can you hide in the garbage can? Can you? There's, I didn't notice the garbage can underneath the desk. Oh, oh. wait! Wow. Everyone keeps leaving! Okay. Okay, guys, stop leaving. They really don't like being it. Last not. video you watched before going to prison? That's literally what people were saying. Like, he's about to get I arrested. I never want to be it. No. I know, right? D no. David Icke. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh... Bad. No. I ordered his book, too. Yeah, I want to be it. No, oh, the backyard, wow. the backyard. Oh, okay. Okay, who's it? I appreciate who's everyone watching today. Who's it in the backyard? Who is going to be looking? We'll, tough. we'll get through. Really, like I said, we don't really know some of the... Yeah, we'll get through this Champions Club. That's, yeah, I, I know it's a tough... That's, because I don't know this one well. Life's we, weird right we, now. Yeah, I... Oh, my God! Well, oh, oh, dude, this part, I think it was at the yelling, but, like, this was when everybody was like, oh, my God. The police is breaking into his house, and they just, they used the battering ram on his front door, and the slam scared him. <laughs> that, was, that, was, <laughs> that was one of the theories. It's weird right now. I... Oh, my God. Oh, well, I did, I did, I did. We'll get through this, okay? Like, and, people, uh, I remember there was a Reddit post that was, like, fucking, it was really long, analyzing this video frame by frame, and there was, like, a timestamp where it's, like, at this point, he jumps because he gets maybe spooked by some kind of loud noise. In parentheses, police entering his house. Uh. Hey, Christopher. Dun dun dun! You better not taunt me. How dare you? <laughs> you know so much about this because this happened. I think like at some point during quarantine, and like clearly I didn't have anything to do, and this was like a big thing when it happened. Can we play Roblox hide and seek tomorrow? Um, no, Champions Club. No, we can't. You know why? Because you guys are going to find me. You're going to find me immediately. If I get... If I'm hiding, you guys are just going to fucking look at the stream and find me. Just, uh... <sighs> Fuck. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Then he got banned. Club right now, whether you're tier one, tier two, or... So, <clears throat> yeah. Turns out, all of that happened because he was using Twitch whispers to talk to a minor. Um, which, in his words, which, you know, people like this, they love reiterating, nothing illegal happened there was no criminal activity but then he said there were conversations that veered into inappropriate which you know um i don't know man fucking crazy shit <clears throat> i think literally the only motherfucker that he has writing for him right now is what is that fucking guy called? The quartering? Like literally one of the worst people on Twitter. <laughs> that's that's the only person that he has in his corner. Nick Merckx? No, guys. Nick Merckx, two hours ago, dropped a statement and said, uh, guys, it's it's not looking good. It's not good, guys. Uh, it's, it's I got to say, it's not good. Uh, so he's lost Nick Merckx, guys. He's lost him. He's lost Nick Protect the Kids Mercs.
Can you believe it? So, <clears throat> Ugh. God, it's fucking bizarre. Bizarre times, man. Kai Sinat unfollowed him on stream. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Itchy and scratchy. Thank you for the nine months. Please, this Nick Merck's video is so funny. Oh. Let's see this. Let's see this Nick Merck's statement. Really. Checking in. Uh, look, I open Twitter. <sighs> bunch of my mentions are he they she she hey they fucking i i identify as a helicopter god damn it wait this is not uh, a, this is not regarding this at all and i seen i seen the the couple tweets about the doc I, oh I, this is from uh, a few days ago i'm as taken back as a lot of you guys are okay but the fact remains that these are some crazy accusations crazy <laughs> big time accusations. crazy and until we know more until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence, what are we talking about? What's anybody talking about? Now, as far as the leave little kids alone stuff, this doesn't make it any further from the truth. Leave little children out of your shit. Have a nice day. God, what a brave soldier. Genuinely such a, wow. And then oh, today. Checking in. I'm seeing everything on Twitter and uh, I read through Doc's tweet. And in that very tweet, <laughs> uh, he basically confirms that. Put a shirt on. He doesn't own any. You know, he was texting an underage girl, and it went weird sometimes. You know, and and look, just to just to be blunt and straightforward, man, I, it, that's that's inexcusable. It's unacceptable, right? Uh, <laughs> there's no excuse for something like that, and and I can't support it. Hang on, honey. Doing this, <laughs> talking to Twitter. <laughs> I can't support it. I can't defend it. And uh, look, the boys and I are torn up over it too, man, because we played a lot of games with a guy and, and it feels a little weird, but what can you do, you know? So I just wanted to update you guys on, on my thoughts and how I'm feeling. And uh, I mean, look, I, ho I, hope, I hope you guys have a good day, all right? Yo, yo. So, check in. so funny all his friends made the same video yeah dude they're all like fucking vacationing at the same like villa or some shit like tim the tatman also was tim the tatman's replying he's sh wait he was shirtless too white people be like they're all shirtless holy fucking shit dude oh my god he is shirtless <laughs> what the fuck why are they all shirtless what the fuck is going on what is happening <clears throat> Poke made a video I was dying. <laughs> this is like the fucking Imagine video, but everyone's just shirtless. It's some kind of message, some kind of signal. <laughs> Yo, what's up, gang? Little update. <laughs> just fucking tired of it, man. Me and the boys were crying all night about it. Upset about one of our own, you know. What happened? <laughs> you know, it was just um, sickening, absolutely fucking sickening. You know, he's, uh, this world has gone to a fucking shit place. I haven't seen poker in ages. Man. They need to fucking, uh, one word you fucking pedophile, stay out. <laughs> stay where you belong. Don't go to places you don't fucking belong to. And fucking seek fucking help, you fucking sick shit. Anyways, getting more Fortnite, more. Yo. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. <clears throat> Pedophiles are bad, low key. Someone finally said it. Holy shit. White people be like. Yes, <clears throat> welcome back. Just check Ninja's Twitter to see if he said anything, and it's in just a pic of him playing poker with Neymar. <laughs> Dude. Um. 
But yeah, what has anything else happened? I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on in this life. I don't know what's going on in this little life. No TBH? <sighs> Fucking boring, man. Seabones, think of the 34 months. IDK Katie, think of the 14 months. Brooke, think of the one month. Um. Uh, yeah, the fucking uh, the I'm Alex shit um, was just like fucking Christ. Uh, I mean, I'm sure many of you are aware that it's it's been fuck I'm Alex on this on this uh, on this ship. Um, but yeah, that shit was like Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I uh I had I, I met him like a couple times in 2019 had some fucking pretty shitty interactions and I was like fuck that shit um so yeah I don't, I'm not really like gonna I'm not gonna like fucking go through the the whole thing because there's like a there's like a big statement about it um, but if you want to, if you want to read into it, um, you can, you can fucking look it up and stuff. Um, isn't Alex like friends with James or something? What he's not, like? he's, he's absolutely not. And they uh, are there's a lot of, you know, I'm not going to speak on his behalf, but that's, that's just not the case whatsoever. Um, I've, I've made an effort in my life to not, uh, associate with people that kept him around so i think uh, uh that is not the case cherry pop six think of the seven months nora core think of the 30 months thank you thank you uh c bones think of the 34 months ah, guys what are we gonna do today what are we gonna do today oh we should do a clip queue man we should do a clip queue we have we have we were gone for a little bit let's do a clip queue uh, who knows what we'll do after that? Ooh, so much to do. Goofy movie? Uh, you missed that shit, to be honest with you. You missed that shit. Um. Can I send TikToks in ClipQ? Fucking hope not. Let me see. Log in. Oh, fuck. This is the fucking... It was the wrong website again. I gotta bookmark that shit. Why do I never bookmark that fucking website? Oh, I found it. This is it. I'm on the website, y'all. I'm on the freaking website, y'all. All right. Q is open. Everybody send your clips. Send your clips and I will give the best uh best reaction to your clips in the history of Twitch. It's always a good sign when a bunch of the clips are my own. It means I've been doing good work on here. It means I've been putting in uh, putting in solid hours. Been farming some clips. I tried going into Squeaks' chat today to farm a high, and I got aired again. But that's okay. I don't really care. It's totally fine. I, don't, I really... I really don't care, to be honest with you. But like, whatever. All right, let's get this shit started. Mode button, okay. I didn't even have to press the the Frico mode button, okay. It's easy. It's easy. I got these streamers <laughs> wrapped around my finger. <laughs> No, that was true, though. That was true, though, during that event. I was fucking running that shit low-key until they clearly sabotaged me. 
go. Shade. That shit looks good on the cow. Sorry. <laughs> no, cows are beautiful. Yeah, I think it's random no matter what. Mm. I gotta. It's been a while since I've seen a cow in person. Do you, I gotta. Do you guys hate me? Hmm. So the real question is where is the another oh fortress? <gasps> I found another fortress and a bob spot. What just here. happened? Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Um, Kill them all. Well, I don't. I ran out of did they did they ghost his ass? Animals. Damn. So let's look for oh. some, kind of, <laughs> some kind donator. <laughs> what is this? Is this a new clip? Seventeen days ago. Is there like a is there like a server again? That fuck ass Connor O'Malley vid in Q. Oh, what the fuck? There's a new ASDF. Is that a new ASDF movie? What's up, Bromie Bunny? Holy shit in my fucking underwear! <laughs> <laughs> Is this a new Germa stream? Yeah. Damn, he waited for me to leave to go live. What the fuck? <sighs> Fucking. We need chat on the same page too. <laughs> All right, downloading. What? <laughs> what the fuck? No. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Fucking ET's trying to show me how to play. <laughs> what game is this? This is these clips are all just like it's like showing clips to your mom. Like what game is this? What game is this? <laughs> what website is this clip from? Is this new? <laughs> um. Is it like a platformer where you're all? Uh... Need chat on. Together? Should I play this with my friends? Okay, that would actually be sick if we did that. We're gonna do that soon, probably. Is this a new SMP? Is this a new server? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Who is this? Is this one of your friends? He looks kind. <laughs> I know J. Cole feels so good currently for doing that like apology where like everybody for like three days was like, oh good, L. Cole, what, what the hell kind of shit is this? And then just nukes started dropping so everybody forgot about his shit. But he like, he got out at the right time. I mean, he really shouldn't have even done the fucking track that he did. But like, Jesus Christ, man, what a fucking dodge. Christ. <laughs> Liam is, uh, I need to watch more Liam streams. Especially his scary game ones, because he seems like he gets scared easily. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Why'd you do it so many times? I don't know. It was, I was obsessed with myself. One HP. The fuck? He's playing Half Life Dude! 2? Give me heals, give me heals, <laughs> give me heals. What are you doing? <laughs> Where the fuck is Ghibli? He probably died trying to parkour. Oh, fuck. I have two shovels. He's over to the right. What the fuck was that? How do we do this? <laughs> I don't know. You guys are the experts. <laughs> How do we do this? There's a fucking bracket the up there, man. Yeah, the bracket. I dropped the shovel. Ah! <laughs> 
the fuck? Did he like stumble? What? <laughs> 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 I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything! You better apologize to my camera crew, too. I don't think you mean what you say. I apologize for pushing your camera, sir. Get up! These subtitles are so wrong. I'm pushing your camera, sir. You say I'm dying of cancer. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what he said at all. He said, I apologize for pushing your camera, sir. I agree, handsome fella. <clears throat> what is up, YouTube? I'm here again <laughs> with another weapon review and breakdown. I am here with the Putrescence Cleaver. This is a boss remembrance weapon. You get this from beating the Putrescence Knight down in St. Trina's Lair. Uh, for those of you that are curious where it is. Gonna showcase it. It's a very heavy Great Axe. It has a pretty standard Great Axe swing animation. And the R2, the heavy charge attack, is, is pretty good as well. Yeah, the the, the, uh, the, the, range the YouTuber great, voice is really good. It's pretty hard. Scales with Arcane for all you Arcane users. And let me showcase this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to do a retake. I have to do a retake of this whole video. What was that? <laughs> the panties are showing, dude. Okay, we're closing the clip queue now. Uh, I fucked with, uh, I fucked with it. What the fuck? I swear to God, this better never happen to me again. This was so fucking annoying. <laughs> this was way more annoying than it needed to be to fucking put it back together. Like this was this was just some fucking bullshit, man. This was Hey Squeak, so you have soft or hard facial hair? <laughs> I don't know why I read that. Soft? If soft, what razor do you use? Oh, I don't know. It just grows soft. <laughs> I don't know if I'm or anything. Sorry. Just let it grow, no, much baby. Of a, you ain't much of a groomer, as it were. No, I'm... Well... <laughs> <laughs> you almost got me there. <laughs> Good try. I've never seen this before. Oh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I got a 103 fever for the past six months and it ain't going down. Drake, if you don't give me some medical attention, I think I'm gonna get a big, big ass, ass frown. How did I predict that? Melting obsessed with the family guy Simpsons. Orgy! Oh my god! Over sexual fantasies. Everybody looking so gorgy. Quagmire standing up on top of the bed, jagging off, conducting the sexual, sexual fornication. Peter oh. Suckmar, Homer Lick Lois, with Springfield Colpack. Quag, sexual congregation, kidneys losing function, body aches, chills and shivering. I'm I forgot the words. Freeze. Drake, if you don't give me some pills, you come down here and heal me. I think I'm gonna die. Drake, He's... you need to help me, please, please, Drake. Okay. OVO. Okay, Loki, I want to watch this whole thing. I haven't <laughs> seen it in a while. Six months, and it's not. I can't do anything to get it to go down. Fire right, Simpson. <laughs> Would you hit? Yeah. <laughs> and Lois. Okay. And Lois Griffin. <laughs> God, this video is such a masterpiece. Yeah. This is literally where I used to stream from back when I had the granny wallpaper. Like, this is what my kitchen looked like. So I got a favor, 103, had it for the past six months, 
It makes dating really hard when you got a hundred free <laughs> fever. Dude, shut the fuck up, okay? Talk about seltzer, why is it so Dude, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, okay? You keep talking, talk, it's gonna be a bad fucking situation for you and for everybody else here who paid to see a good time, okay? Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! No, this was literally me talking to Chatters last week, man. That break was needed. Uh, for oh, real. Shit, sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. Sit the, dude, sit the fuck down. <laughs> he predicted the Northern Line bit. <laughs> Him like driving in that weird car is some shit that Jake would post on his story randomly. Fever is such a fucking gross, gross way to say it. I feel your person army deciding to jerk off like they just got divorced. The positivity force is like the army. Can you believe Drake said this? Instead of shooting bullets, we act sweet like Sprite. For the positivity force, I, I had a fever of 103. It's like the military, but for smiles. War is caused by people being angry online. The antidote is jerking off to make the world divine. People being mean, the atmosphere is polluted with negative vibrations. Airplane crashes are caused by this, and I love staycations. <laughs> in the Bible, it says jerking off is the deepest form of prayer known to man. Gooding will prevent a war in the Holy Land, but you got to edge to keep it in stock. Don't land. worry, these aren't stolen valor. 600 tabs on Pornhub at once. You know, tabs on a browser. Do you think Kendrick has seen this? I think Kendrick saw this and thought it was real, and that's why he restarted the beef. The state of you know edging, you know what you know what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come. It's like you guys, but instead of shooting bullets, we're shooting smiles. We're having a good time. You know what I mean? <laughs> Positivity force. Whoa, is this the actual matrix? Across the world, all race, creed, genders, jerking that clip. Wait, 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 wait. Creed, genders, jerk. There's two. There's two, y'all. What the fuck? There's two of them. You don't see this for happening. Okay, there's two Myanmar's. But there's two Estonias. This jerking that clit tit or prick off the porn. Positive edgy vibes get trapped in the ozone. De escalate global tensions. Masturbation, Jason Bourne. You know who wears hats like that? Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pornhub.com. How's it going? Hey guys, we're starting the positivity force. It's like the military, but for being nice, right? I love your vibe, man. We're trying to kill the positive vibes, trying to kill the negative vibes. I got this for 600 tabs open on Pornhub. Because you want to edge, and all the positivity vibes go into the ozone, and everybody's smiling, having a good time. As soon as everyone blasts the huge come, the world's superpowers peacefully get back on course. World War Three prevented by stroking clits and pricks. Thanks. Clits and pricks, dude. Force. Ugh. The positivity force has caused me to be a more, more positive and a nicer guy. I'm less in my head. In natural meditation. screen time A friendly reminder that masturbation is self-care. <laughs> I can't believe they said that. They said that, dude. They said that shit. All right, let's watch this shit. Fine. Sorry, I just muted on like a. I want a divorce. Fine. 
but I'm keeping the clown. I saw Jack's film's tweet today that there was a new one. I'm bored. Aw, oh, who's a good boy? Not me. Is that Jack Swims? I'm a girl. And what would Sir like? I'd like you to leave my house. No! Conductor! He's paying his job! God? Yes, my child? Why are you in a tree? I am stuck. This isn't milk. I wish I were dead. And for your next wish? I know who that is! Give it back. No. 98, 99, 100. This is too many fingers. Kiss me, Johnny. Johnny the truck. Honey, don't look at the sun. <laughs> I'm naked. So, your place or mine? Uh, this is your place. Well, that would explain why all my stuff is here. Are you having fun, sweetie? That's classified. Hey, guess what? I love you. Oh, gross. Wanna dance? I don't know how. Neither do I. Fetch the stick, boy. Johnny the truck. Oh, what's wrong, little guy? <laughs> My wife left me. Ah, that was really loud. Wow, a rainbow. I didn't know he got out of prison. Run. Well, if I'm not the father, who is? <laughs> Johnny the truck! This is Steve. Huh? And this is his natural predator, Mind Turtle. Hello! Wait, what? Hey you, we made a new game. Don't Press That Mind Turtle is an explosive game of truth or dare where you challenge your friends to either complete ridiculous missions or... Is there anyone What's your favorite term for masturbating? Uh, the touching it. <laughs> <laughs> See, that should have been in the ASDF movie. That's Harley boring. loves strawberries. Bodie is obsessed with watermelon. Jason chose pineapple. <laughs> Jason chose. <laughs> Single on <laughs> Jordan loves lemons. Jesus Christ. Bro, you do not bro. Lemons? Dash picks oranges. <laughs> That's crazy. What is this fucking video? Oh, dude. Dude, that's a that's a real ass fucking dog. I mean, a real ass lady. That's not a dog in a dress. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck was that? What is? What are these recommended videos? Dude, why was um Germa afraid of nine? Because 985. Nah, like I'm cooking with that one. I. That was actually pretty good. Are you fucking kidding me? I thought that was gonna work. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding what the fuck? me? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we gotta do more golf. I fucking love that shit, dude. Because it's summertime. Summertime, I love it. You know, regular show? Um, hey, I know that guy. I met him at an arcade once. I think. I think I did, yeah. She took a shit in the mother cradle and no washcloth can clean the spoil. 
She took a shit in the mother cradle, <laughs> and no washcloth can clean the spoil. <laughs> Sorry, I had to like process that twice. I think you were Elon Musk. Uh, I am Elon Musk. <laughs> I created. Uh, I created Twitter. Is that how he talks? I don't know. <laughs> He's really good at impressions. You should listen to mommy. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> oh, fucking damn it, dude. I didn't realize that that was still playing. No. I feel like I've done like four streams like this where I, I start fucking watching videos of ravens and shit, man. That's really sad, guys. Okay, let them cook. Uh, someone in chat is talking about their uncle dying from bingo off man. Let them oh. cook. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so devious <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> guys what do you think should we do another uh, glee night this that's week that's a sex crime that's Yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was cutting my nipple hair with scissors Wait. and then it started leaking. Punch buggy! Excuse me? <laughs> oh, because it was a red punch bug. <laughs> I gotta start. I gotta stop telling that fucking story, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The bear Wednesday, so not tomorrow. Wait, is it happening tomorrow? The bear, is that tomorrow? 9 p.m. EST. Well, that is terrific news. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yes. That's. My heart's going like this right now. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? Hey, Riley, thanks for the sub. Uh, thank you. Like. Um, so what should we do, guys? I'm thinking about Mario Kart, maybe. I feel like that would be a good, you know, little move to start back on. Um, get some Mario Kart in. <gasps> get some, uh, get some laps. Horror game. Fly people be like. Fly Fisher, thank you for the sub. Uh, people have been asking me to play, uh, fucking. <sighs> Baisu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, we'll do that. Um, do something new, I bet. What is this? The fucking Dr. Disrespect chat? Isn't that isn't that what someone said to him? What is this? Germ beanie. <laughs> what? The fu what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Because that, like, is him, but it is not at the same time. What the fuck? Anyways. We gotta get down to serious business. Yeah, we'll do um, we'll do some gaming this week to, for sure. We'll do some heavy gaming, uh, some uh, truck simulator. Uh, haven't done that in a long time, uh, and some. Uh, yeah, we'll do that scary game this week. Uh, Glee night at some point. Uh, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think there's going to be a double feature this week. Prezo is busy. Prezo is busy AF. But you promised Spore. Uh, don't fucking gaslight me. I know I promised Spore, and I know when I promised it for. So you're going to have to wait, okay? You're going to get your Spore stream, but I remember exactly when I said I was going to do it. So you got to wait. Good things come to those who wait, y'all. Oh, yeah, and it would be fun to do a chain together with uh, some people. I'll see who's, uh, who's, who's about during the weekend, maybe. Uh, I am going to be a little bit busy uh, at some point, though, so we'll see. We'll see. Um... But, yeah. And we'll do some, uh, I still have some story games as well, uh, in the, in the canon that we'll do at some point as well. So we got, we got a good amount of content right now, um, planned, but I figured for the stream back, let's just play Mario Kart and talk y'all. Let's just, uh, let's just fucking hang around, man. Cause I'm not gonna lie, when I, when I leave for a while, I take like five days off. It feels like I need to like relearn how to stream. The first stream back always feels, uh, feels like I'm learning how to walk again. So this is, this is me like getting back into the swing of things, but it was a, it was a nice break. I, I spent most of it sleeping. Um, I was in the woods next to the sea, so it was, it was, uh, it was nice. Very peaceful and quiet. How was Midsummer? Can I be honest with you? I didn't even see the bonfire on Midsummer because I, <laughs> I was literally just like, man, I could have the nicest sleep right now. So I said, guys... I'm just going to go to bed, man. I haven't slept this well in like a month and a half. I am going to sleep. And I went to sleep at like 10 p.m. I woke up at one point in the middle of the night because there was like a fucking crow on my window. And I thought I was this close to being murdered. But then I went back to sleep and I uh, woke up at maybe like 10, 11 a.m. You know what I mean? Some kind of shit like that. Why is John Pork in here? What the fuck? <clears throat> you lost a game. Do you think that's what Dr. Disrespect saw when he looked down at his phone? Somebody said you lost a game, and that's why he went into that eight minute silence. Let's hope I'm uh, gonna do good on this one. Well, that's... <laughs> what the fuck happened there? I don't fucking know. I love you, actually. Hey, I love you back! Keep in mind, you know, this is my first race, my first stream back. We're fucking relearning all sorts of shit here right now. Have you ever found out anything crazy on stream? Uh... No. My grandpa died while I was watching The Martian. He... <laughs> this is crazy to say. I was watching The Martian. I was living with uh, my grandparents at the time. And uh, my grandfather just died in the next room. And then my grandmother called the ambulance. I had noise canceling headphones on. So I had like no idea what was going on. The Martian was like blaring in my ears. Um, and apparently like at one point when the fucking ambulance arrived or some shit, they were like, is there anybody else in the house that could like help, uh, help us with something? And my grandmother just said, no. <laughs> and then I, the Martian ended. I walk out of the room and then... Uh, my grandmother was like, oh yeah, uh, grandpa's dead, by the way. <laughs> and I was like, oh. All right. 
But, you know, that was, uh... I mean, honestly, if I... Okay, here's the thing is, it would have been way more embarrassing if I was, if I was streaming during it, because... I would have been, like, fucking moaning and shit, and the ambulance would have been, like, trying to resuscitate my grandfather. While I'm, like, in the background going, like, Oh, why you guys keep overtaking me? Oh! Uh? <laughs> so, uh, you know... But this was like, uh, this was like 2015. This was before I'd ever even done a live stream in my life. So, fuck! White people be like... Axel Hippo. P4 Lexu! I found out my grandpa died during the 12-hour Sims 3 stream. Hey, rest in peace to your grandfather. That's a, that's, that, it's crazy though that that stream, that's, that's like what that stream is, uh... Associated with in your memory now, though. Why would you say this? I don't even want to know what that is. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Please. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> There's two. <laughs> Fuck! God fucking damn it! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Dude, you could put that shit on TikTok and probably actually, like, cause me some fucking damage. You could do it. So if anyone, if I ever, like, am mean to you in chat, you have a weapon to use against me. Either cause some damage, or I go live one day and I have, like, 5k viewers and they're all, like, Nick Merck's viewers. And I think that would, that would be, like, a hundred times worse, honestly. That would, that would be, like, a nightmare. That, I would, that, that would be, like, the fucking Tubbo is dyslexic stream where I didn't go live for, like, a week after. Fuck me, man. I'm so shit at this game. But watch this, if I lock in though... I just need to lock in. I just gotta lock in. I got no choice left. Also, uh... I... have to put out a disclaimer. Uh... I was told this. I need to, uh, I need to clarify something, okay? And this is very serious. Sometimes, and I didn't know I did this. Sometimes, when I would hang out with my cousins, I would say that I'm hanging out with my cousin, Singular. And, uh, my other cousin recently told me, you need to stop forgetting to mention me when you tell stories about hanging out with us on stream, because you keep mentioning my brother, but not I. So I just want to say, sometimes, there's two cousins that are there. I didn't realize... <laughs> I didn't realize I was, like, erasing the existence of one of them. Uh... But I do have two cousins. One of whom, uh, keeps up with, uh, my streams a little bit. Uh, sometimes quizzes me about some of the things he's read. One time I was drinking a beer with him underneath the balcony. The balcony. And he asked, so what happened with Quackity? And that was, you know, so shout out to him for that. <laughs> that was, uh, that was, uh, not something I expected at all. And it was, it's, it's, I think about it all the time because I think it's like one of the funniest things that's ever happened to me. So yeah, I do have two cousins. Um, he said that when uh, I talked about going to see Dune, I only mentioned one cousin. <laughs> Are they your only cousins? Bro, I don't know what the fuck's going on in my family, man. I probably got like 36 cousins somewhere. 
Some people in this family be fucking, they be fucking, and nobody knows. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so who knows? Maybe I got like a hundred cousins out there in the universe. <sighs> but that's also, I just realized that also means that my cousins are aware of the fact that I've been referring to one of them just as my 40 year old cousin, <laughs> which uh, is pretty funny, actually. Are you baby cousin? I'm very much baby cousin because my dad is like 70, fucking 70 hundred years old. So I'm, I'm very much the baby cousin in the, in the, uh, in the family. Like, th this is the crazy thing, okay? So I'm related to them through my dad. My dad is older than their mom, who is my dad's sister. So that, that, <laughs> and they're, they're like, you know, they one of them's like 40. So that's like the kind of, uh, that's the kind of like situation we're dealing with. I was, I, I fucking missed the bus. My dad is old AF too. It changes, it changes a person. My dad is 39? Dude, your dad is younger than my cousin. My old cousin. <laughs> I should stop calling him old. My dad is 51. Yeah, see, that's like... That's like a great age for a dad to be. I, that sound, I don't know why I said that, but that it is. You know what I mean? Like 50, 50s parents, like that's, that's like a great time. Who is this bumping into me right now? Who is this? Oh, when your name shows? Oh, we're doxing you tonight. <laughs> oh! That's when they start cheating on their wives with the yoga instructor. Oh. Well, some of our dads are too poor to afford yoga instructors. It keeps the family together. Dad's doing yoga is so silly. I Is it crazy I've been thinking about yoga? I Maybe I was... I was like thinking about it a little bit. I was like, maybe this is what like fixes everything. I get a little man bun. I start doing yoga. Girl activity. Girl. Dude. No, 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 don't overtake me. Give me this, give me these boxes. Watch this, bullet, bullet, bullet. Nah, but we take these though. Give me this shit. Okay, I took the I took the wrong turn for some reason. Ah! Ah, dude, that was gonna. <laughs> no, it's okay, guys. Okay, if you've been believing, stay in line, guys, because. You won't believe what's coming. <clears throat> Wanted to say my dad's dead, but I was racing. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. You seem like a guy who would do goat yoga. Goat yoga. Why are you laughing? I was laughing because of the He is the goat yoga. No, I'm baby Yoda. 
What do you think? Is this the most adorable streamer you've ever seen or what? Maybe you need another break. JHB team has raided the stream with 1,000 viewers? Dude, it was so crazy earlier. I was in a call with JHB team, and he, like, it was kind of weird that he did this, but he was. Uh, they were doing a performance review, like, Nate was interviewing him, and he was, like, I was, like, in the, in the room, he had his, like, phone on, and I was in the call and shit, giving, like, input and shit, and JHB was so nervous during the meeting that he fucking farted a little bit. It's fucking, it was fucking crazy, dude. The whole room went a little bit silent. Did they fire him because of it? No, no, he actually... So, JHB had a suit on, and Nadeshot grabbed him by the tie and said, I like you! We need a guy with balls in this organization! So I think it actually turned out really well for him. <sighs> Why am I last? I literally thought I was gonna look down and it was gonna say fourth. I, in my head, I, I was so specifically fourth, and turns out, it's all just a bunch of fucking nothing. But look at this. Get out of my way! Miffy Cat, thank you. Yup. Stay out of my way, yup. Stay. Out. Of my way. No. Oh my God! Why does this happen every time? No! No! Don't touch me! Mm, I fucking hate you, Jimmy Fallon. Fuck you. I gotta hand it to Chapel Roan. She did like one of the only good interviews I've ever seen Jimmy Fallon do. She was like, I watched like a little bit of that. I didn't really watch a lot, but uh, I, I watched like, I think I saw some clips on Twitter. And I was like, holy shit, dude. Jimmy is actually having a conversation. There's gay people here. Don't speak about Chapel right now. They refunded my concert tickets. Pfft, they did not want your ass there. The the concert's not even canceled. They just didn't want you there. White people be like For Elysia, thank Fox you. Thank you. Guys, what sort of content would you like to see on this stream in the future? What are you really yearning for in this life? Spore? You guys are going to get Spore. Sims 2? I, I, I've been seeing Chibli do Sims 2. That game is fucking awesome. I had a lot of fun in, on on our uh, Sims 2 streams. Elden Ring blindfolded. I'm so scared to touch those games because I know I'm going to be so shit. But maybe that's the fun of it, eh? Smool. One of these days I'll fucking figure out a Smool setup. I, I think I'll literally just like... I'll screen share my iPad.
So we played Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds was actually a game I was playing off stream uh, quite recently. I think I'm like a few hours away from beating it, but it's a nice game. So uh, I don't know why I didn't drift there. I guess I just wanted to make it hard for myself. I was kind of I didn't drift because I wanted to see if my little fireballs hit that person, but that was just like wait, that was obsessive behavior. Roblox Egypt is where my life started. That stream was really fun. Trying to like overthrow a fucking government. <laughs> that shit's actually fun, y'all. Like I, I get why people do it. You made me want to watch Mohon Drive. Holy fucking shit. Y'all. That movie. Is fucking good. It's really really good i could i was uh, i was just like in total awe the entire time and the fucking two and a half hour runtime it just fucking flew by no 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 don't touch me come back here no what the fuck does this always happen why does this oh, i'm I can't... I can't be high placed. I need to start off low and then at the end, get to the high place. <sighs> I was getting so excited I spent so much points believing in you. We go again. Um, but... Yeah, it was, uh... God, it's such a great movie. The fucking score as well. Shit. Ugh. God, there's, there's, um... It's, uh, there's so much, so many movies that have, like, already come out this year that I have... Dude, Kinds of Kindness? That's, like, coming out? Already came out? I don't know. Well, it'll be a while until it gets here. I think it's like July 13th or something. Um, but then there's already a new Yorgos movie announced too. With Emma Stone? Like... Are they taking a break? At any point? Not that I'm complaining, but I'm just like, holy shit. Like, they're just... <laughs> they're just fucking cooking nonstop. Like, holy fucking shit. Oh yeah, like the, the Maxine rollout is happening as well. Uh, I still haven't watched Pearl. I need to watch Pearl. I, I quite liked X. I thought it was a... A fun watch. I didn't hate it. People that have seen both. Do you think Pearl is better? Yes. I gotta hop on that shit. Fuck! Are you excited for the Jesse Eisenberg, Kieran Culkin movie? Yes. Look, I know Jesse Eisenberg is like a huge dick, but... Fuck, I love him in movies, and it just sucks that he is in maybe three good movies. He is... Fucking... When he's in a good movie, man, life just feels good. And I'm seeing that uh, people are fucking with that movie, so I'm, I'm excited. I loved... I think the first Zombieland is like... One of my favorite zombie movies, I just think it's a blast. Zombieland 2, though? No, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Guys, we finished fifth. We did it.
Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. Um, God, I still haven't seen Furioso. I'll see that soon, too. Just fucking... Bravest Sage, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you. Zombieland is very rewatchable. Yeah, I gotta rewatch it. I haven't seen it in a while. I haven't seen it in ages. I feel like right before I left, me and Prezzo came up with like a crazy double feature and I just can't remember what it is for the life of me. Zombieland actually would be a fun uh, stream movie. I still haven't seen Challengers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the holdovers. That's right. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, we got to do uh, the holdovers. Freaking Sam, thank you. Axel. Dominic Sessa not going to be anything good for the rest of time, I swear, I, I fear. Yeah, he's probably going to do war movies. <laughs> he's going to do war movies until the end of time. If uh, Clint Eastwood is still alive, he'll get a couple of jobs out of him, probably. But that movie is fucking awesome. It really is. Holdovers. And I can't believe I've only seen it once. You know, someone left a really nice comment on my Holdovers review. And I was like, ugh, what a nice person. Uh, what a great way... Well, like, what a, what a, what a nice comment to leave. Just made me feel nice. I click on their profile. Most recently watched movie, After Sun. Three stars. Man, I, I was just not in the mood to see some shit like that, man. Just very sad. It was like, uh, I'm sorry to bring it up again, but it was like KSI tweeting about the Dr. Disrespect situation and being like, One of my biggest inspirations. <laughs> one of my biggest inspirations turned out to be a bad person. Sorry, I gotta lock in for a second. This could be huge. Fuck! Get out of my fucking way! Fuck these people. I watched After Sun a couple days ago and it literally destroyed me. I've seen it twice. And both times, it didn't make me feel very good. It actually made me feel quite shit. Talking about locking in when in seventh, like, girl, it's already over. <laughs> girl! Girl! Make a choice, people. Jesus. I saw someone in the community post a video about, like, a video of someone, like, f trying to figure out who the worst Glee character is. And I feel like we should try to do something like that after we reach the end of Season 3. Um, some kind of, like, tier list system and try to figure out who really is the... Will easily. Yeah. Yeah. But the top five. There's a there's gonna be a fucking tight battle for it. Mm. 
Will Shu is so hot. Easily my number one character. Number one? Will Shu, literally just a guy with curly hair. Like, I'm sorry, but that cannot be wooing you enough to look past his multiple fucking crimes. Like, if Will Shu had a fucking Wikipedia page, dude, the controversy section would be probably a good, like, 70% of the whole article. The, the controversy section would probably have, like, seven different subsections. Will Shu is so hot. Actually, shut up. You're not serious. Oomphs will back me up. I don't know. I wouldn't bet on that. Mm. Uh, also, somebody asked for more Minecraft. If I can convince my friends to join a realm... ...with my current save, because I don't want to start over, I spent like three streams building that house from fucking... ...literally total improvisation. I'm down to do some more Minecraft. As soon. Fuck, man. I'm just always like seventh, seventh or eighth, man. I'm, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> Will reminds me of my middle school band teacher. Guy was creepy as L. <laughs> I remember, um, the first school I went to, there was one male teacher in the entire school. I think Lobby crashed. Maybe for you. Um, there was only one guy teacher in the school, so I thought they were like, they just didn't exist, really. I thought like this was like one of the only male teachers in Estonia. Um, but he was chill. He was, he was chill. Um, so I didn't really have any experiences with, uh, Creepy teachers. Um, one of my friends, um, her high school though, somebody like one of the teachers ended up get it, enga getting engaged to one of the students right after, like I think like a year after graduation, which um, isn't great. All of my male history teachers were fucking awesome. I don't think I ever had a male history teacher. Mine were all awesome queens. A teacher wouldn't stop touching girls' asses on the track team. You know, you, you probably, that's, that's, that's fucking, shouldn't be doing that. That's like pretty fucking insane behavior, I'm not gonna lie. One of my history teachers got fired for saying fuck you to a kid and throwing his laptop in the trash. I had a, I did have a teacher who threatened to bring a hammer to the school and uh, destroy everyone's cell phones. But at that point we were all like 16. So... Like none of, like we all kind of knew that I don't think she can do that. <laughs> So I don't, I don't think it was like a very effective threat. If I would have been like 12, I would have been like, fuck. I would have been like, shit. And also I had a lot of like, you know, teachers that worked in the Soviet times and shit. And like, I mean, obviously like grew up in the Soviet times. And they all loved like sharing stories about how their teacher used to beat them with a ruler. And then they'd be like, 
That's what we used to do to people, kids like this. And I was like, oh. What the actual shit? Bruh. Give me... Oh, oh, oh. Dude, I'm losing control, man. There's there's wheels. Somebody uh, somebody popped one of my tires, man. The traction was all off. This is just the fucking sad. Believers are over. Believers, you just gotta know that it's all gonna be worth it because... By the time that I'm top 5 again, the odds are going to be so good that you're going to make all your money back and then some. Because people in this chat love to flip-flop. So just stay strong. Ninth. Seven, eight, nine. My not at the time known alcoholic teacher was having a bad day and we gave her a bottle of Prosecco. I feel ter I feel horrible. What the? Is that like an appropriate gift in any scenario? <laughs> like, is that is that normal? My biology teacher showed up hungover every single day. I, I mean, like, I would too, honestly. I would too. Because, like, some of the shit that teachers have to deal with is, like, insane. There'd be, like, kids in my class that would be so horrible to the teacher where I was like, if the teacher right now walked up to that kid and, like, bonked him in the head, I would, I would, like, I would go to the principal and give a testimony that would say that it's in self-defense. And like, yeah, I mean, substitute teachers especially, I, that's gotta be like that's gotta be like the roughest form of teaching. Like it's it's actually crazy what it did to a kid's brain. I mean I I won't lie like as a kid I would be an exemplary student behavior wise. But when the substitute teacher showed up, I'd I'd let a little I'd let loose a little. I'm not gonna lie. Not to the extent that some of these motherfuckers were like fucking climbing up walls and like throwing chairs around and shit. But you know, I would uh, I would talk in fuck <laughs> I would talk in class. I would never talk in class normally. I hated it so much, um, because I it was just like the easiest way to get caught, and the teachers in my school fucking despised talking in class. So I just sat there and uh, your chat has Reddit story time subreddit credibility to me. I'm sorry, man. This shit isn't real. If it comes to, like, uh, teachers being creeps... I find them highly plausible. I think the Reddit storytime credibility happens sometimes, uh... during the confession stream, because I think people kind of know that... there's not even a name to attach to the story. After this stream, the story will... vanish in a thin air. And they can just do, like, a little... Um... Writing exercise. And also, at least in my school, like, there were definitely teachers that I don't think should have been teaching. Uh, but you could tell that the school was kind of keeping them around because they they just were not going to get anybody else. Especially if it's like a small rural school. Like, nobody fucking wants to uproot their life and move to some fucking village. To teach some kids that are going to treat them like shit. So there are a lot of teachers that, like, definitely, you know, were a little bit inappropriate. Um, I said I didn't have any creepy teachers. 
I did have like a teacher that for some reason talked about uh, shaving her pubes to me and like five other students. <laughs> Just fucking came back to me. I feel really uncomfortable now. <laughs> um, so that was weird. Why even? I don't remember the conversation. Um, I think it was initiated by one of the kids saying like something really weird about his bu his pubes, and then her response was to talk about her pubes. Um, yeah, I, that's something that I had completely fucking forgotten from my memory, and now I think I'm gonna <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Didn't you say you had a creepy girl PE teacher, or was that someone else? I mean, if if you're if you're like referring the point where the teacher, she like pulled me by the ear into the girls' locker room because she thought I was trying to fucking walk in there for some reason. Yeah, that was pretty out of pocket. I'm having like realizations right. Now. I'm like, yeah, that was pretty. That was like pretty weird. <laughs> um. But really, her worst crime was that every time we would play football in PE, she would be like, you can't pass backwards! You can't! She would get like really fucking pissed off about it, and it would drive me fucking nuts. Because sometimes, I'm sorry, but you have to pass it backwards, because there's two kids that are twice your size fucking running directly at you. Okay? So you have to pass it backwards so that they don't fucking break your arm. Tell the janitor story. That's a horrible time in my life. Like what football? Guys, when I'm talking about football, I'm talking about the the beautiful game, okay? I'm not I don't give a fuck about American football. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've watched two NFL games in my life. Did not give a shit about it. Uh I'm not American. That sport is not something that ever I will give a shit about. And it, nor is it anything that's ever played in this country. The first time I held a football was uh, in Austin, Texas. The old pigskin. You know, we threw it around a little bit. What about the Super Time Halftime Show? Super, Super Bowl Halftime Show? I've, you know, I've checked it out. I've watched all of them. But I got it, you know, I love watching little concerts. We're all about the beautiful game in this chat room, okay? Uh, just gotta be honest with you. 20 English people in the chat. I've been watching the Euros. I am fucking sick and tired of the English national team. Congrats to the believers, by the way. I said good times are coming, guys. And some of you guys clearly doubted me. Um, the English national team is a fucking bore to watch, okay? The three games that I've watched from England fucking suck dick. Fucking Christ. Some of the fucking most boring football I've ever seen in my life. We were booing the national anthems of other teams too, we suck. Dude, the Slovenian national anthem was playing and I, I heard some people booing and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Even my English dad is sick of the England national team. It's just fucking miserable. It's miserable to watch. Like, who... <sighs> like, I, I feel sorry for anybody who, like... Because there's definitely, like, a bunch of people who... That was, like, any England game that's been played this Euros. It was maybe their first football match that they've watched. They're never watching again. 
Like, England should be fucking sued for damages because, like, so many people that probably would have loved the sport are now never going to watch it again because they had to watch that fucking shit. It's miserable. It's, it's... I said this to my friend, but I said, put Estonia in the Euros, and I promise you, at least the games would be entertaining, all right? <laughs> you know, maybe we would lose 5-0 every single game, but fuck me, at least there would be something to talk about. Like, Christ. Why do they even show up anymore? Hello? Hello? What in the actual fuck was that? What was that? What was that? There are forces intruding on the experience. Nil, Lamau. Oh, I'm sorry. 5 0? 5 0? Fuck. Fuck. No, the Olympics is gonna be hype, though. Did you guys see that thing about how... Uh... France promised to, like, clean up the river? Because the river in Paris is, like, insanely dirty. Um... And they've been investing a bunch of money in it, which pissed off the French. So, in, like... French fashion, they were all like, okay, let's do the sh shitting in the river protest, because Emmanuel Macron was like, I'm gonna prove that the river is clean by swimming in it. On this date. Uh, and then they created a website where it's like, if you want to shit in the river, and you want your shit to arrive by the time that the French president is swimming in the river, put your location into this website, and it'll give you the exact time of day, the date that you need to be pooping into the river so that it flows down and arrives right on time. Fuck! No! No! Why, why have they done this to me? Yes, come on. Second place, we do this, we take this. Are you gonna join the poop? I, first of all, I have bathroom anxiety, okay? If you think I can shit into a river, that's not happening. Number two, it's a little bit far from me. I love a good, you know, I love a good protest, especially the French ones, but like... I don't know if I can... You're so lame? Like, what the fuck? You know, this isn't... This has nothing to even do with me, okay? That's not my river. Poop protest was like two days ago, you missed it. No, 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 no! I'm not sure. I also don't know, like, what the... ideal tactic for pooping into the river would be. Like, do you... Do you do it while you're submerged? Or do you do it on the bank of the river? And then kind of, like, use a stick to, like, send it on its way? Like, what's the... Like, squat over it? I guess a bridge would be helpful. If you... if you... Ass over the... the bridge... thing... Barrier, whatever the fuck. I saw a video that she was fully brown. Dude. That one girl on TikTok who drank from the Hudson? Okay, that's crazy. Now that's... Dude. That's actually... F I feel sick. Literally Kramer's subplot. <laughs> I don't think there's a single river in any fucking city that should be touched by a human skin, to be honest with you.
but especially the ones in like London, New York, Paris. The K-pop boys who went swimming in the Hudson. I mean, low-key, maybe if you use one of those, like, Bill Gates uh, poop straws or whatever the fuck. Where it filters out the poop and gives you awesome clean water. Maybe that's the answer. I was just reminded of the... Um, what's that? What's that city in the U.S. that had like a, a, a Flint, Michigan? I remember that uh, that moment where Obama was like, "We're gonna fix it," and then they didn't. And then he came to the city and like drank the water in some like weird act of political power. But then he didn't drink it because in the clip you can see that he just like lets the water touch his lips or some shit. Like at that point, you're not even really like, you're just flexing on them. Like I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what the fuck that move is supposed to signify. It's still bad. Yeah, I remember reading about it last year, I think, and they were saying that it's uh, still fucked. The most powerful country on earth, by the way. Did you win? Mm, no. <clears throat> nah, man. China's been it for years now. I know, but like, that's what the America says. You know what I mean? That's the American perspective. Let's, let's fucking brag about our prosperity and how great we are. Um, but they can't provide for their own people. Their, their budget goes towards fucking up other countries. <sighs> that was a crazy crack. Forgot this was live. Thought I was watching a VOD. Oh, guys, you know what happened today? I got ID'd for Red Bull. The fuck? I had like a grocery order come in, and it was delivered by this granny. And I'm not gonna lie, dude, like, they, they are so lenient with checking IDs with deliveries. Like, there are times where I've, I've ordered like, a shit ton of beer and wine and they just leave it at my doorstep. They don't even like come to check. Like what if it was like a five year old that put through this order? <laughs> um, so I thought, I don't know, I've never been ID'd for Red Bull here before. So I, I just thought it was going to be like, a, uh, I don't know, they were going to leave it at my door, but she just kept knocking and ringing the doorbell. So I was like, all right, all right, let me go check this out. And then she was like, uh, I'm going to need to see some ID. And I was like, what? And then I said, you ma'am are making me feel mighty young today. <laughs> God, I'm fucking shit. I didn't know Red Bull had an age restriction. I don't think... I don't know, man. I don't keep up with that fucking law because I'm too fucking old, but like... I know gro some grocery stores here uh, enforce it as like a rule. I don't think it's like a law that you have to be like 16 to get energy drinks. Um, but I've never seen it in action before. What drugs are legal in Estonia? Estonia has like some of the fucking just shittiest... Uh, 
our justice system is just fucked. It is completely fucked. Um, there was actually a really sad story recently where uh, this this uh, guy that was like kind of in our era of you know what our our similar version to like what the kind of like British vloggers were in the early 2010s. Um, this kid that was in that kind of uh, click on YouTube. Uh, he ended up, uh, after YouTube, he ended up going down a little bit of a different path and he was like dealing drugs and shit. Uh, and he ended up getting caught with 300 grams of weed and I think like 10 MDMA pills. Um, and he was sentenced to prison and I think he had to serve like eight months of it. But then there was, after that, it was like four years probation or whatever. Um, meaning if he got caught for anything during that time, he would have gone to prison for four years. Um, and he was killed in prison. Like, his cellmate killed him. And this is a kid that was put in prison because he had 300 grams of weed and 10 MDMA pills. Like, it's crazy. It's, it's insane. And then you read, like, people talking about it, and there are people that are glad that this kid died in prison for fucking having weed on him. You know, for selling weed. It's it's fucking insane. It's it's a lot of people's attitude towards it is is insanely backwards. Um, and you know a, a big conversation here really is that uh, there's there's a lot of you know murderers and uh, all of like the worst kind of crimes that you can imagine that do not get punished as strictly as drug crimes. And there's been like interviews of people as well that got like caught with weed in their greenhouses and then they got sent to prison and they 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 literally had to share a cell with a murderer. Like it's it's that fucking crazy. Um so yeah, there there's like a lot that needs to be changed about the how we deal with uh drugs and drug addiction in this country because I think we have the worst we have the worst OD rates in Europe. Even, like, above Scotland. Scotland is second. And we're number one. It's, it's like, really bad over here. And it's, it's super stigmatized, so I feel like people just... They don't even feel comfortable, like, reaching out for help and shit. It's almost like hard punishment doesn't actually solve problems. Yeah, it's... We don't quite have the Nordic prisons here. And also, like, I think, like, quite recently, some motherfucker associated with the prisons was just, like, bragging about how, uh, ah, nobody gets killed in Estonian prisons. They're very safe. And then this shit happens, you know? So it's, uh, it's terrible. I thought Scotland was first my whole life. That's what my dad installed into my mind. Nope. Estonia has it. Man, this country is fucked right now. They upped the... I'm sorry, this is like... <laughs> this is, this is nothing in comparison to the problems I just talked about. But, uh, I was at the grocery store... And they've increased the price of cans of soda again. Like any soda whatsoever. It used to be like 80 cents a can. And now it's like 99 cents, bro. They already raised it last year. And they're putting it up again, man. It's fucking like, what is going on? Let me drink my fucking soda in peace. And then over the weekend... I went to Latvia at one point. I was in Latvia this weekend because um, I was near the border. And I've talked about this before, but um, the kind of like food chain that happens is that Finnish people come to Estonia because the alcohol is cheaper in Estonia. And then the Estonians go to Latvia because um, the uh, fucking the alcohol is cheaper in Latvia. Um, and it's 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 actually kind of crazy because 
literally by the border, it's just fields, and then in the middle of it, it's like, it actually looks like America over there, because it's just like these like huge fucking alcohol stores with huge ass parking lots, and they have like the Latvian and Estonian flag hoisted up in front of the building. It's like the greatest collaboration between two countries. <laughs> it really brings the people together. Um, and in there, it's just full of people that all just like drove across the border. And some of them drive for hours just to get cheaper alcohol. But the prices in Latvia are like so much better. It's fucking crazy. And also, anytime I talk about prices in Estonia, you'll always have, like, people that live in more expensive places, and they're like, well, actually, it's more expensive here, but it's like, every, like, uh, the cost of living crisis is, like, super relative in every fucking place, because, like, while rent and, like, I will say, groceries in Estonia cost just as much, if not more, in some of the way richer countries I've been to, which is fucking crazy, because all those countries have... Their wages are, like, fucking three times what they are here. Like, groceries here are just crazy fucked because... We have, like, some of the most shameless grocery store chains. They just raise the prices all the time. Like, I think recently they had to start dropping prices. Which I think also happened in America with, like, Walmart or some shit. Um, because they just kept price gouging and then people just couldn't fucking afford to buy as many groceries anymore. Um... But... Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty fucked up. Like, our prices are getting pretty close to Finland, and Finland's wages are triple ours. <laughs> so that, it's, it's like a, it's like a pretty fucking shitty situation to be in. That whole, like, COVID supply and demand shit really gave them, like, the full power to, uh... Fucking price gouge the shit out of everything, man. Drive those margins up. Holy shit. That's fucking crazy. These monkeys must be confused as fuck. UK has been bad with wages. NHS workers can't even pay rent. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. The way that the UK is just gutting the NHS. Because I have friends whose parents work within that system. And it, it, literally, like, any time they tell you about it, it's just... Every update is just like, yep. It keeps on getting worse and worse. The shortages and everything, like, it's, it's crazy. Uh, I saw, like, some charts recently. Um... With, like, housing price inflation, like, real estate costs and shit. Uh, Estonia is, like, number one by far. Over, like, the last ten years, uh, the price increases have been, like, fucking... I think, like, over 100%. Which is fucking wild. Estonia very much loves to, like... They're, they're very much building towards, like, the American model, where they're slowly gutting public shit building like some of the most confusing taxes of all time where you're not even getting that much bang for your buck for what you're giving your money to the government for <laughs> I was scratching my nose I couldn't turn Ah. Ah. But it's it's just like it fucking pisses me off, man. 
They, they just wait until uh, just wait until I, I I get my word in there. Until I run for public office. Why is Monica Lewinsky in this game? Like what the fuck is that about? I absolutely could not win an election. There, there's, there's not a single universe where I win any kind of election. Third! 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 Okay, we got like five Jake S's. I have like a couple believers left. You're cooked. I'm not cooked. I'm barely seared. I'm not betting, but I'm believing every time. That's not even... Put your money where your mouth is, okay? So glad I haven't been betting. I would have lost it all. You just... There are people that come out of these streams with huge wins every single time. And they do it believing in me. And that's true. Imagine Back to the Future movie night. I don't know if I'm going to do this as a movie night, but I really want to watch... Uh, the original Willy Wonka movie. I was thinking about it recently. There's a bunch of the classics that I've just never seen. It's always so interesting watching one of those. Like I think I saw the I think I did see it when I was a kid, but I have I have like very vague memories of it. But it's always weird when you've just constantly seen something being referenced and then you watch it and you're like, "Oh my god, it's actually real." One movie that I feel like um you know, you're on the internet in the early 2010s. The Big Lebowski, I was watching that movie, I was like, I fucking feel like I've seen this entire movie just because, like, it's all that people would reference on, like, 9gag and shit. Like, I, I feel like I've li I, I was watching it, I was like, I feel like I've seen every single fucking line of this film. It was, it was actually just... Holy fuck! Sorry, I'm locking in. I'm... <sighs> now watch this though. All right, never mind. Seventh, we're back in seventh. Oh, that wasn't even the last round. What the hell? I don't know why I, I was so I I was so s convinced that that was the last lap, but I think it actually worked out in my favor. I think it kind of eased the tension, just in time for us to bite back. Oh my fucking god! You know what? I'm not going that route this time. Should have gone that route.
I'm coming out of my fucking way. Yes! You know what I realized? I I was looking through my Google Photos. I used to take like a 15 selfies of myself every day. <laughs> like even when I was like just sitting in my room during quarantine, I felt like literally like all I would do is just take pictures of myself. Um, and now I came home from the trip and I was like, oh, I can't wait to like, I'm going to have some nice ass pictures. I took four. I took four pictures the whole weekend. And it's like, I get it, living in the moment, great. Oh, fantastic. So raw and real and true, everybody loves you. But like, what the fuck? I used to take pictures of everything I saw, and now I don't, do, I don't even, I gotta get back on that shit, dude. My Snapchat memories have eight trillion pics of just me. Hmm. Somebody's using Snapchat. I did that on my trip to New Orleans. It, it's like it's like a big problem of whenever I go on a trip with my friends. At the end of the trip, we're all like, "All right, guys, let's send all the like pictures of each other into the group chat." And there's four pictures, and they're the shittiest pictures of all time. It's like that kind of picture where it's like, hey, bro, can you take a pic of me? And it's like the, sh the, the like just the lousiest pose of all time. Just no fucking energy in the picture whatsoever. Going all in, not saying which though. I see the badge next to your name. That was a crazy recovery from this motherfucker. Bruh. Some- always some bullshit like that that totally fucks me every single time. But I like- I won't lie, there are some friends where... Look, I'm not saying that this is the only reason why I'm hanging out with them, but they are really good at taking pictures of me. So sometimes I, I'm like, I haven't, hasn't been a good picture of me in a while. Maybe I hit that person up, but it's not only because of that. They're also great company, but it, it does like factor into uh, the calculations a little bit. Those are like, those are like the greatest people. The ones that just like will randomly take pictures of you all the time. Fucking love those people, man. Okay, eighth. I can pull I can pull back from this. My one friend that did that was an anti-vaxxer. Fuck! Sorry, I was just really... I was really fucked up about your friend. <laughs> Ugh. Some people are just really good at being a friend. Like, genuinely. Just like... I try to, I try to, uh, emulate them as best as I can, but some of them, they're just so, it feels like they're naturally so great at it. Always make an effort to check in on you, take nice pics of you, always know what to say when you're feeling down. <sighs> Fucking love them, man. Love those people. Would like to say, I don't use Snapchat. It's from when I was like 15 to 16. Need someone who's good at being a friend. Guys, put a one in chat if you're good at being a friend. And then just, you know, pick one of them, I guess. 
Oh my god, Chapel! There's a lot of twos in the chat. That's... I mean, I don't know if I could put a one just because... I do sometimes, like, disappear. <laughs> sometimes I, I disappear and, like, talk to, like, two people in the span of three weeks. So, like, I think that kind of, like, disqualifies me. I've just gotten, like, way too good at enjoying my own company. Like, sometimes someone will be like, we haven't hung out in a while, do you want to do something? And then I'm like, ah, uh, no, I'm too busy going to the movies alone. <laughs> I'm a yapper and want to do everything with my friends. I think I just have, like, a very, uh... I have, like, a very just concrete social battery in the sense of, like, I, as soon as it hits, as soon as it runs out, I will retreat. I will retreat and just walk in the woods alone for four days. And, like, I guess I was always kind of like that because I just loved spending time by myself as a kid in the woods. Like, I'd go in there with my dog for, like, a day at a time. Um, but I think living alone has really, like, made me be like, oh, fuck, man. It's fucking nice to just have some fucking peace and quiet. But I don't really even talk to myself that much. Like, sometimes I, I have little outbursts where I'm like, STUPID FUCKING IDIOT! But, like, I don't really... I don't really talk to myself. Do you sing out loud? Sometimes I turn my headphones up to max volume and I sing my heart out. I need to go to a bar alone and see what that's like. Yeah, that... Prezo keeps, like, telling me, like, I might do it tonight. I might go to a bar alone. And I want him to do it just to see how it goes for him. He's kind of like my... I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm waiting for him to do it to see how it goes for him. And then maybe I'll, I'll do it. What do I have as my... The fuck? You know what? I don't even care if it's not the meta. I want the pa I want the plane, dude. Holy shit! <clears throat> I'm not good at being my own best friend, though. TBH, I get lonely. I'm not good at being my own best friend because, like, I don't, um... I sabotage myself. Like, if I was... If I was doing this to another person, like, they'd be like, this is... You're, like, a piece of shit. I make myself laugh a lot. I think that's important. That's very important. It's to laugh at your own jokes. Some naysayers will say you're crazy for doing it. And society... Will make you feel like an outcast. People will bully you. They will attack you. But you have to do it. Like, I'm sorry for laughing like 10 times harder at my own clips than anyone else's when we're doing clip cue. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, it's. What can I say? I get so excited when I see myself pop up on the screen. I'm like, oh my god. Fucking 
Christ. Jesus. But yeah, if we don't do a double feature this weekend, then we'll probably just do like a Glee Night or some shit. Do like a long ass Glee Night. Get some fucking hours in. Get through some episodes. But hey, listen. This season better be fucking good. Because I'm not doing season four. Season three is where we end it. So enjoy it while you guys can. Until three months from now when I run out of ideas again. And we start from season one. <laughs> I do appreciate everybody tuning into the day's stream, though, because whenever I go on these vacations, when I get home, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, man. Everyone's already probably gotten a job, gotten fucking married, bought a house, gotten a fucking... gun shit done in their life. They're never showing up in my chat again. Can you play a game of Family Feud or Deal or No Deal today, maybe? Mm, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Don't worry. I'll always be unemployed. Wait, put a one in chat if you're employed. Put a two in chat if you're unemployed right now. Damn, the unemployment rate is like 50% in this chat. I'm also 17. That's no fucking excuse. Get to work. Nah, I'm kidding, yo. Get off your ass and get to work. Y'all gotta get jobs so you can pay for subs. See? That's why Darian is the best moderator I have. You hiring? Mm. No, I like to beg for gifted subs. There was a time where like, when like this chat was trying to like be super, uh, I don't know, they loved following chat etiquette and they someone would beg for subs and they'd be like, mm, you can't do that, don't do that. People used to get timed out for it, but you know what, we have progressed as a society and we have understood the need to help one another. Because you know what? Today you could be the gifter, but maybe tomorrow you will be the one asking for a sub. In 2019, I asked for a sub in Ted Nivison chat and he got mad at me. <laughs> one of my most vivid memories is, uh, I think it was like 2019 or maybe 2020. I don't know why it was, <laughs> it was stupid. But I went into his chat and I, I called him Ted Bundy, just because I, I was kind of trying to piss him off. And then I, I just remember so many people like, oh yeah, yeah, really funny. <laughs> really funny, like dude. Like. Jimmy Carter, thank you for the... Thank you for the three gifted! Woo! White people be like. I love going in, I love like being a nuisance to all of these content creators and then I'm like, why don't they like me? <laughs> why, 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 why are they, why, why don't they like me?
I got a bullet! I got a bullet! You're just like your own chatters? Well, I did raise you guys after all. <laughs> German dead. Yeah, name two TF2 videos that you've watched from Germa. I was raised by Jack Septicai. I wonder if there's like any like Serbian kids that grew up watching Jack Septicai that now speak English in like an Irish accent. There's probably multiple. That could have been me. Took a break from your stream to do a TikTok dance with my mom. I was raised by Pro Jared and Peanut Butter Gamer. <laughs> I saw Markiplier in a Whole Foods once. Dude, Markiplier is so tiny that you could have picked him up and ran out of the store with him. We should do a uh, a pick up Markiplier challenge. When you see him in public, everybody should try to pick him up and run away with him. Doing this to Mark? <laughs> I don't even know how tall he is. He's probably like 5'7". All the 5'3 chatters are going to be mad as fuck again. I think the shortest chatters are quite often the most evil chatters. I think some of the most toxic chatters in here... Because I've met some, uh, some people that have said toxic things to me online. And then they identify themselves when I, when I meet them. And I realize, oh shit. This is the person that's been keeping me up at night. He's 5'10". What? Markiplier's 5'10"? What? The way I just fucking shitted bricks. To anyone that's excited about me being in first place right now, I need you to understand that... What the fuck? I need... That was actually tactical. See? You fucking piece of shit! You drove right into that. Dude, it's fucking fell in front of me. I can't, I can't like, evade it when it's... Spawns in two inches. Two inches away from me. Eh, you didn't get me. I was really hoping I could get Foof with uh, my shell, but... No! Please don't touch me. Please just don't touch me. Ah! What I was going to say was all good things do not last, but this one actually kind of lasted. Like, I'm not going to lie, this one... I don't know why y'all, but like, I feel like this one kind of lasted. Hmm. <clears throat> 
I don't like how that thing is staring at me right now. Oh my god. Who are these people showing up right now? I gotta change my me. I've been meaning to do it since like a year ago, but I just, I never get around to it. Imagine VR Mario Kart. Imagine streaming in 2040 when uh, you're gonna, you guys are gonna be able to smell my breath. <gasps> what do you think, guys? Praying that never happens. Sometimes when I meet people, they're like. Oh my god, what does that smell? And I'm like, uh, that might be my breath. And they're like, ooh, can I get a closer sniff? And then they, they start sticking their nose in my mouth. It's like, uh... It's like those fucking dentist birds with hippos or some shit. I don't know. I don't know if that's real. I don't know what I just said. I think that's real. Oh, that was amazing. That person just fucking fell. <laughs> Me when I'm letting uh, air out of a tire. Oh fuck, I can't recreate it. It was perfect. I'm not gonna lie, I actually... I feel fucking gross right now. I read like one message... And I, I feel so fucking gross. I don't feel very good. That's it, I'm doing a game of Family Feud. Let me in this shit. Let me in this shit. Do you want a prediction on this too? Who knows man, maybe I'm gonna go up against like a level 99 family again. You should eat a booger on stream. I don't even get boogers. You can look up my nose caverns and there's it's beautiful in there. It's it's gorgeous. It's really one of the most like beautiful holes in the world is one of my nostrils. Dude, this game has the f most fucked up loading screen of all time. Like it takes 5 minutes to get into a game. I get so many, do you want some? No. Snap finger click! Me looking up your nose on Google. I want someone to make uh... I want someone to make plastic surgery allegations towards me. I need that like as my like I need that for PR. I need to get in I need to get in headlines. All right, let's see who's in here. Hiya. Yeah. 
Excuse me. He got a BBL on that vacation. That one tweet of uh, the person listing all the surgeries I got, that made me laugh. Do you think anyone has ever done a hair transplant to be bald? Yeah, you just go zzz. You have chest implants? I do have like a very sizable rib cage. Like, I feel like you could fit double the organs in here. It's it's kind of crazy. Uh, it you like it really makes sense when you see it in context with the rest of my body. It's not necessarily like wide uh, from this perspective, but it's like wide from the side a little bit. So you could probably stuff some shit in there. I heard you got surgery to actually make your head bigger. My head looks bigger on this camera. It's actually not this big. You ever see pictures of like Northern Lion <laughs> out in public versus his like, uh, versus his camera? Dude, there's nobody in this shit. You know what? I'm going single player, bro. If I can't beat the computer, then it's over for me. I think it's the angle. Yeah, it's the angle, it's the lens. Everything in this world is built to fucking kill you. Seriously. Look it up. No, no, no. Get him off my team. Dude, I gotta just make sure that... <laughs> I did like an address bit. Last time I played this single player, I gotta make sure the address is not still here. But you looked proportionate on the cooking stream. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My head looks pretty proportionate to my body. My body. Checking if his nude mods are on. Dude, I had the craziest fucking Lucky McCoy thong mod on. His ass had like jiggle physics and shit, dude. Solo. It was fucking crazy, man. Like, seriously. <sighs> ready to do battle. Uh, yeah, this family looks stupid. Wow. All right, come on. I'm not going to look at chat for the answers before anyone starts yelling at me, being like, Oh, dude, I gave you the answer, man. Come on. Come on. I'm going to need five answers to this question. All right. Buzz in first to get a shot at answering our survey. Come on. If you can find the top answer... You'll choose if your family plays Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Of 100 people for this question. Besides shaking hands, name another Think you got something? Uh Hello. <laughs> hey, it's uh it's no chole. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the 16 person raid. You're about to watch me suck ass at this game. I just really wrote in hello. I panicked. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of fucking shit my pants. Nod head. Oh, Christ. Of course they're gonna get it. They're the fucking AI, bro. They wrote the answers. Oh, God. 
Great. We're really about to watch a computer play. What? Okay, nod head. Wave. Wave. People wave. They wave at each other. Wave. That's what you think, huh? Let's see if that's a correct answer. Wave. Wave is below nod head. Yes. Um People greet each other. Uh, 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 shout. Maybe it just didn't count hello. Shouting. You shout at them. Ahoy! Yep. Is that answer up there? Shouting. Shouting. You hear that noise? Okay, when I've met people, white people be like, besides shaking hands, name another way people greet each other. <sighs> um, mm, dude, why? Like, I can't remember ever meeting a person in my life. <laughs> I can't remember ever saying hello to anybody ever. Um, you know what? I say hello to my wife, I, I give her a kiss. Yeah. A little hello kiss to my wife. Is it up there? I do love my wife. Kiss. Wow! That's kiss is above nod, head, and wave? Which means it's there, but there's still a better one. Oh, yeah. <sighs> think of an answer. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Maybe if they're socially awkward, they just stare at each other. Nah, come on, let's be serious. Hug? If they have a kiss, they should have hug? Hug? Are you sure about that? Is it up there? Please? Hug. Holy shit! What the fuck is five? Oh yeah. There's only one answer remaining. Uh okay. Hello, like hello, I've just met you. What is the first thing I'm gonna do? No. I I Fist bump? I don't know, man. Sometimes you fist bump people when you meet them. I don't, I don't know if I can know, man. Okay. I'm like, hey, that what's up, man? Fist bump. And watch this fucking AI family somehow immediately get number five. Just one answer to go. Yeah. Let's do... Uh, mm, uh, d d uh, d uh, sad. <laughs> I don't know, man. Is this the last answer we're looking for? What do you guys think number five is? I don't got it in me. I don't know what the fuck number five. I don't. I don't know if I've ever done this sort of greeting. This could. This could change the game for me. I, this could become my new daily driver. Shake hand. Besides shaking hands is the prompt. High five. Hey, buddy. Name another way people greet each other. No fucking way. No way. No way. No, 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 no. No, yes. Thank you. No. Thank you so much. You win. So the points go over here. This is hard, by the way.
the hard difficulty. I want you guys to note that down. The fifth answer is... Speak! Here's what the <sighs> after that round. I'm not going to say who I'm rooting for, but their initials are... I'm so hooking up with Lucky McCoy tonight. It's time for the face off. Who's playing? Let me I know that dick go crazy. Oh my god, it's Joe Para. Hey, Axel. I, I, it's gonna be all eight spaces on the board. This eight. Time. Get ready to buzz in when you have an answer. We asked 100 people this question. Okay. Name something in your kitchen you'd hate to be without. You're in first. What you got? I would hate to be without a stove. You know what I mean? Like, what am I going to do in there? A fridge. Oh. Is it there? Oven. Yes. That's at the tippy top of the board. Oh, it's at the tippy top of the board. It's at the tippy top of the board, guys. I'm playing this shit. I'm not letting them fucking play, man. They're not gonna do it. I really don't like how the characters literally have my posture in this, by the way. This is... Okay, fridge. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Fuck you. Alright. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. we need an answer. <laughs> I could not live without the sink. You know, you gotta have the sink. Sure thing. Is it on the board? Sink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Um Search your mind for an answer. Uh... Pan. You know? Got to have a pan. I see where you're going with this. Yeah, cuz I yeah, where I'm going with this is that you need to use the pan to make the food. Hello? Pan. Like pans? Okay. Way to go, kiddo. Does that mean that pots is a separate answer? Cuz I will I will try it. I will. I will. I will farm. Give me, uh, Lucky, Lucky, I'm gonna say pots, and I don't mean the stuff that you smoke. Did I guess knife already? You know what, I'm gonna guess knife right now. If I already guessed knife, we have an answer. then it, I'm fucked, but it's whatever. I'm not fucked. Knife. What? Okay, I'm gonna put dishwasher because everyone that voted for this probably has a dishwasher and they're like Are you ready? I need an answer from you. Gimme dishwasher. Good answer. Who said that? Did I say that? Who said that shit? There's nobody on my team. Four Nice. Alright, who are the four lazy ass motherfuckers? <sighs> maybe freezer freezer maybe 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 that's different no 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 okay what else do cupboard 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 gotta put those plates somewhere am i right ladies I, well, I, Only a few answers left. Have you I understand how me saying ladies in that situation could be construed as misogynistic I meant, I just meant ladies because, you know, the audience here is majority girls. I, I don't think women should be in the kitchen at all. I, if they want to. Anyways. Um, what else? What else? 
bowl. Bowl to put the food in. Got it. Will that be one of the missing answers? Bowl. <laughs> Stove? I wrote in stove and it put in oven. First you say there's two genders and now women belong in the kitchen. I can't believe that. I can't believe the two gender clip. That's actually crazy. My ops are eating tonight. Microwave. Oh, fuck, man. They're going to take my points. Oh, they're going to take my fucking points. Oh. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, have fun with your 54 points, asshole. Fuck you. Let's see those missing answers. Seven. Coffee pot. Ugh. The sixth most popular answer. Food. Show me those scores. <sighs> Food. That win wasn't enough to take the lead, but the scores are getting closer. Wow, really sucks for them, huh? Get your game faces on because it's time for the face off. Who's going to join me up here? I it's time for the twerk off. Come on. Holy shit, she's serving. We've got four answers. To oh, four answers. All right, let's see what this time bullshit question's all about. People to give us an answer to this. All right. Name something you get checked in a house in like a flash. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> before you buy, probably. Uh. Name. Okay. Uh. Damage. You got to check for damage. Maybe there's a hole in the wall. Wait. 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 Mold. Let's do mold. M mold. 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 Moldovans. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, so Moldovans is an answer, but Pots isn't? Mold. Oh, swing and a miss. We can do better than that, right? Name something you get checked in a house before you buy it. <sighs> Dude, she literally looks like a real estate agent. This is not work. This is not fair. Let's run with it. All right. What the fuck ever. Is it your time to play or pass? King, king. Wait, they literally have a king on their in their family. This is your shot. What is this? Okay, roof. I'm going to you're going to check We need another answer. I don't know, man. I never bought a house in my life. Low key when I moved into my apartment, I could have moved into the shittiest place of all time. I'm going to check the floor. You know, maybe, 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 I don't know. I don't know what you check for. Walls? That's your first strike. You check for... We need another I don't know, man. I grew up in a fucking house with holes everywhere. I didn't check for anything. I just learned to live with it. Rats, man. You check. No, nobody checks for rats. They just believe in it. Uh, you get checked in a house. Um, pipes. Pipes. You check out the pipes. Oh, okay. Is that one of the ones? Like, is it working? Pipes. Yes. It's up there. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All right, Lucky. I got another one right in the barrel for you. Uh, uh, checked, you get checked in a house. You get checked in a house. Electricity. I don't know, man. Electricity. You know, is it there? Is Does the house have electricity? <laughs> That's, you know. Electricity. All right, I guess not. People just take, they just believe in it. 
Fuck, Lucky. I really fucked up, man. Oh, Lucky. I'm not doing too good. You check for... Check the windows. You know? Are, can I see through them? Are they letting in any water? All right. Survey says... Windows. Check for ghosts. Oh ho! Oh -ho! If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. Oh my God! Lord and Charlie should have really worked it out in a game of Family Feud. Bedroom. There's no fucking way that works. There's no way. What do you mean bedroom? Yeah, go fuck yourself, idiots. Your whole existence is centered around this game. We've got a win over here. I just bit the inside of my cheek. Ow, ow, ow! Psh. What was behind number four? Sorry to hear that. Foundation. Number three. <laughs> Neighborhood. <laughs> That's not in the house. That, what, what sort of a neighborhood is in the house? Fuck you, Lucky. Just got bigger. Awesome. I'm gonna shoot Lucky McCoy. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him. Now let's do the face off. Let's get someone from each family down in front. Hey, Lucky! Hey, nice to meet you. We want the magic number. Seven answers. All right, now. It's still anyone's game, because for this question, the point values are... I'm in the crowd with a bomb. Should I run onto stage? If you're in the crowd with a bomb right now, do not run onto the stage. Name something you need for a perfect Christmas. You've got some... Tree. Actions, my friend. You need tree. Tree. I swear to God, a family's number one. This game sucks. Oh my God. Oh, family. Oh, you need family. You need Santa Claus. Snow. And our survey says snow. Nice try, but that ain't gonna cut it. What's it to be? Pass or play? You know what? No, no, I'm not gonna pass. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play, Lucky. Bring it over here! You can do it. What do you think? Um, Santa, dude. You need Santa. Santa's gotta pull up. You need Santa. Survey says Santa. What? That's not on the board. So you've earned yourself a strike. Are these people dumb or what? You don't need Santa Claus? Do you have an answer for us? No, Lucky. That was my only one. <laughs> uh family. You need family. Feeling lucky? You need you need family. Lucky McCoy. Family's so important. Oh my god, go fuck yourself. Well done. How could you make me say family when I showed up to Family Feud all alone? Like, this is fucked up. You couldn't have just saved that question for the next show when some guy with a whole family shows up? <sighs> presents. The most important thing about Christmas is getting cool presents. Is the Bakugans that you get. Alrighty then. Come on. Come on, Lucky McCoy, give it to Daddy. Yup, gifts, okay. Correct answer. Oh, let me guess, dude. Eggnog! Eggnog! You need eggnog. Something you need for a perfect Christmas. Gimme egg nog. Yeah. Said with confidence. Come on. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? I don't even... 
Oh man. Dig deep and think of an answer. Give me You want know, food. Everybody loves to eat on Christmas. Let's all have a nice meal together. What about that, Lucky? Our survey said food. I got bad news, folks. That's three strikes. The other family has a chance. They're gonna take my points. They're gonna take my fucking points. I built the whole board for them, and they're just gonna fucking take it. All right, what do you get? What are they? What are they gonna guess? If it's up there, you steal the Too vague? If not, they go to the other hey, food is food. You know what I mean? Love? What you think, huh? Let's see if it's up there. Love. Oh, hell no! This is what a winning family looks like. What are the answers we didn't find? What about number seven? Friends. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> what the fuck are these answers? Let's see how the scores look. It ain't over yet. We need one more round to settle things. Love and peace? Like, what the fuck kind of bullshit? And Santa's not on there? Who's answering this shit? Let's play sudden death. I need two players down in front. Okay. Hey, Lucky, I'm back. Oh, hello there. This time, I just want you to give me the top answer. All right, all right. For this survey, we're asking for the top answer only. All right. Points are tripled. All right. Gets this answer, All right. Wins the All round. right. Shut the fuck up. We asked 100 people. Name something kids are told to take turns using. You're up first. I feel like if we got this prompt once, but I don't know. Computer, bro. I can't remember any answers. Computer. Answer. Computer. Yep. Let's see if you're right. Computer. I feel like I answered computer as well, and then, yep. I don't know, man. Not up there. Good try. Take turns using, an uh... Name something kids are told to take turns Wait, it's using... bathroom, isn't it? Toys. Fuck you. You know what? Check the board. Fuck you, dude. Seriously. Go fuck yourself. Excellent job. Yeah. You've won sudden death. Looks like we know the true kings of family view this time. Oh, that's great. Their fucking family name is built into dialogue on this show. They rigged it so that they could say that line. You missed out on fast money this time. You missed your shot at the jackpot, but we'll add up your score and give you the total for a consolation prize. Wait. Wait. Until then, love your family. Don't fuse. Good night. Do you want to play again? No fast money. Play me in Family Feud. I have the game open. There's no way. If I go on this shit right now and Sebo Bomb pops up, it's so over. You know what? I'm bringing JonTron with me just, just for as like a bodyguard. I can't go in there alone. Oh! <laughs> Not gonna lie, man. You got, you got beat to the punch. Shit. What the fuck? Family feud! Okay, alright, alright, Lucky. You're doing things to me right now. And that thing is giving me a boner. Let's 
let's get things started by meeting our feuding families. Meet the first family who wants to bag that jackpot prize. No, I get it. My pussy dripping. Going solo for today's game. Organ milk. Will compete to find the best answers to our survey questions. Whoever gets the higher score will go to the final round, and they'll get to play first. You'll want to be first because it'll give you the best chance to bring home the big bucks. Fasten yourselves in for. Some I'm really glad that he explains the game every single time because I really have, like, I just I have no idea how this game works. Let's kick things off with our first round. How's that different from what you said? I think boner is, you know, a vague general statement. Pussy dripping? I think that's like a notch above. Am I crazy for saying that? Six answers this time. Get those feuding fingers ready. Whoever Misogyny? No, no, it's like, you know. We took a survey. 100 people. Name something about a pig that the other farm animals make fun of. You got it. Uh, <sighs> Name something about a pig that the other farm animals make fun of. What fucking reality are we living in? What are you fucking talking about? What is this question? Oh, nice. Are you sure about that? What did our survey say? Smell. That's not even number one. But that top answer is still out there. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. Uh, filthy, filthy. I, I don't like. I'm not gonna write in hygiene. Like none of those motherfuckers are really taking showers. Dirty, dirty. There's no dirty. What in the actual fuck? Uh. Uh, I don't know, man. What? What? What is this question? Bald? I don't know. It's not bald. Ah, I don't... <sighs> Could it be up there? Let's find out. No points. I've never seen a farm animal make fun of another farm animal before. Am I fucking crazy? I think you've got this one. Let's play. Oh man. Let's hope you haven't run out of ideas yet. Uh-huh. Okay. What is a pig? Maybe ears? Oh, That's snout. Let's see if like volume level, like, oh damn that pig is loud. What is number one? What the fuck is number one? Tail. Let's see if it's there. Tail. What is going on? That's at the top. Did they fucking do surveys from farm animals for this? I don't understand. White people be like. Oh wait, I got a bunch of subs. Hold on. Interesting answer. Bambi the Hut, thank you for gifting a sub, and Marty, Marty Nax, thank you for the two months. Miley farted, thank you so much, thank you. It's not up there, so this is your first. What was that guess? I missed it. <sighs> Name something about a pig that the other farm animals make fun of. How is there so many answers to this? I don't fucking get it. I I'm sorry. Wait. Okay, sure. Is that one of the, the animals are fat shaming? What? There it is. Uh -huh. There's just two answers up there. What? Nah, this has got to be some fucking setup. Lantastic is a farm animal in disguise. There's no way. 
Mud. What? There's an okay. If this, there's no way. Thank God, Jesus Christ! If that was on the board, I'd be like, we're just naming anything now. Like, what is that? I don't know what I'm gonna guess, bro. Maybe like they're fucking tiny little stupid legs or some shit. I don't fucking know, man. Like, what would I make fun of if I saw a pig? Like, if I really wanted to hurt a pig's feelings. What the? I see where you're going with this. That stream better be off, Lantastic. I swear on my life. Okay, thank God. You did me a favor. Fart. What about fart? No, wait, that smell. And they can take this round. I don't know, man. Loud is like my only... You can do it. This is a bullshit question. Seriously, though. Like, what are we talking about here? Loud. We have an answer. Let's take a look. Loud. Ugh. You've blown it. Short. Guys, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to fat shame the pig. I just didn't know what to guess. Okay, I'm closing the tab again now. Bye. <laughs> we got people putting out fucking family feud uh, statements. Hair. Answer number five. What are you? Point. What the fuck are we doing? This has got to be the biggest waste of time in my life. Seriously. There are people I went to school with that have kids that are married. It's Meanwhile, I'm playing like a fucking family feud for five-year-olds. Oh, what what are, what are the farm animals make fun of the pig for? Oh, oink, oink. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What? What the fuck? That was in the game, guys. John Chad made that noise. Fingers on buzzers. Here we go. In our survey, we asked 100 people, name something a department store Santa might hate about his job. What? Oh, I get it. Uh, kids. <laughs> I don't know, man. Kids, bro. Understood. Let's see what the survey says. Kids. Yep. Yep. We found the most Easy. So, then it's probably like low wage uh, costume. Yeah, I'm playing this shit. Bring it. Bring it home. Costume. I'm gonna need your guess. I'm gonna need your guess. Let's do costume. That shit probably sucks. It's probably itchy and shit. Time to find out if it's up there. Yup, okay. Then like wage. Uh, working during holidays might be one thing, but like how the fuck do I write that in? Wage. Wages. Good enough? Let's see. Wages. Okay, these people do not live in reality. That's not up there. So I'm sorry for being aware of the terrible working conditions that department store Santa Clauses are put under, but All right. clearly these people are not up to speed. Hate about his job. Uh, I don't know, man. Hate, hate about his job. Co-workers? <laughs> um, parents? Parents, parents, parents. No! That's your answer. Is that answer up there? 
patience. Oh, another strike. Oh no. Oh no. Give me parents. Lucky McCoy. Give me parents. I'm going to get it right this time, guys. There it is. Right there. Okay, man. It's going to be parents. The parents can be real suckers sometimes. Parents. Yup, yup. What the fuck are these two other niche-ass answers? Name something a department store Santa might hate about his job. <sighs> boss. You know, the boss is like, I want you... I want you... I want you out there. <laughs> it's worth a shot. I don't know, dude. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Boss! <laughs> and that's your Santa is the boss? I hate to break it to you, but the boss is the the manager. <laughs> the boss is the fucking Walmart manager. All we need is one answer, and this I'm gonna be jolly all the time. Yeah, shit like that. I just don't know how to write in. Like working during the holidays, like that that you know, if I was on that I'd say Psh, Steve, working during the holidays. Anyone in the survey say this. Work hours. You got it. You've racked up another round. <sighs> All right, what's this last one? I'd love to see. Seriously, I'm intrigued. Number five. Sitting down. How are our families doing? Let's see. Okay, when sitting down is one of the answers, you know that you've put one of the shittiest questions into the game. Sometimes Santa Claus, I've seen Santa Clauses at malls. Sometimes they stand up and they like wave to people. Okay, I need someone from each family to join me up front. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. This is where I win. Ignore the zero. Ignore the big zero. Oh, okay. Time to take it to the next level with double points. Double points. Here we go, y'all. One hundred people. Let's get ready. To this question. Name a kind of event in which you'd see a horse. You're up first. What do you got? Horse racing. Yup. Okay. Did any of our 100 people say it? Yup, 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 yup. You know what? I'm getting tired of clearing the board for Lantastic. Because this is what happens. I build the foundation and the house. I build the house and then Lantastic moves in. So we're going to pass. This is a tactic. Yes, this is a tricky one. Ah, oh, fuck. Now I gotta think about events where you see a horse. Horse. Um... I forgot what it's called. There's that thing where they jump over, you know... They jump over, like, holes and fences with a horse. I don't know what that's called, though. I have, I have no clue. Horse, like... Horse jumping or some shit, man. I don't fucking know, man. I got no clue, man. So you can't even name one. Can't even. I didn't want to touch this. Petting, okay. petting Z. <laughs> Let's see if that's a correct answer. <sighs> I swear to God, if the number two answer was petting Z, I would have ended stream. I'm gonna be honest. Are you ready? I need an answer from you. Rodeo. All right. Is it up there? Show me. Rodeo. 
Our survey says yes. Yeah. Name a kind of event in which you'd see a horse. Am I fucking stupid? Where's the horse in a rodeo? I thought it was like a bull. Horseback riding? There's no chance. There's no way. There's no way people fucking wrote this shit in here. There's yup, yup. What's that thing called? Where in the medieval times they would run at each other with like a knife. Well, it was bigger than a knife, but jousting. Ah, it was called jousting. I saw it live at the at the Renaissance Fair in California. Parade. Nice. <laughs> I want to see that. Answer. I think it's called jousting. Parade. No fucking way. Jousting's not even gonna be on here. Put on your thinking cap. It's time for an answer. What about like a riot? You know, a little riot in France. The police officers show up with their horses. Competition. Okay, that's... <laughs> I mean, good on you for trying, but I'm going to go with jousting. Jousting is going to be number four. And the crowd's going to go fucking wild. Bring it over here! Bring it over here! All they've got to do is find one answer on the board, and they can steal the round. Uh, Give me a correct shut the fuck up and let me answer. The answer is yeah, jousting, dude. It's in the it's in the game. There's no other universe where jousting would be an answer. It's going to be here. Come on, guys. Look. Look. Ah! Oh! It's going to be polo, I fear. Oh, fuck, man. That's what I couldn't think of. Our winning family. Just the one answer left over. And number four, please. <sighs> All right. Western movie. That's not an event. That's just not an event, dumbass. As we go into fast money. We have a winner. Pro. What were the questions in this shit, man? Uh, name uh, name something that the other farm animals make fun of the pig for. I'm sorry for getting zero points, but it's because I'm not seven years old. To be honest with you. I'm not even I'm not even taking my headphones off. I'm sitting here. Team captains, you're gonna be playing. In this round, you I think they give us less time anyways. If you go second, you get less time because you've seen the questions. And your opponent goes after, answering the same five questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's start the clock. Alright, let's start it. Name a household chore. That is literally a four-letter word. Uh, uh, dish. Uh, <laughs> cook. Cook. Name an old movie that just about wash. Seen at least once. Oh my God, that's actually an awesome one. I don't know though. Fucking Wizard of Oz, probably. Godfather. Pay extra for. Uh, luggage. Leg room. Something that would make you feel guilty if you did it all day long. Jerking off. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's like no other answer for that. Watch TV, I guess. That would be number one answer. Name something that smells good. Uh, my wife's armpits. We're all questioned out. All right, let's switch to the other side and go again. 
I already forgot the questions. You're up next, and things are a bit more challenging now. You've got to answer the same questions, but you can't say anything that's already been said. Cool. Cool. Yes. Yes. Yes, dumbass. Ready? Start the clock. I'm starting the fucking clock. Name a household chore that is literally a four Cook. Cook. Is cooking a chore? I mean, for some people. Try again. All right, wash. I don't know, man. Wash something. Wash. Name an old movie that just about everyone has seen at least once. Wizard of Oz. No fucking way. Godfather. <laughs> I don't know, man. Should have gone with a kids movie, but uh, Leg Room. something that would make you feel guilty if you did it all day long. Uh, dude. I don't know, man. Name something <laughs> that smells good. Uh, perfume. Perfume smells good. That's like the whole point of it. You know? Name something that would make you feel guilty if you did it all day Watch long. TV. Yep, this game understands me. Wife's armpits was a good answer. No, like for real, dude. Real passionate lovers know what that means. No, like it, yeah, in the in the real family feud, someone would have been like fucking jacking off my little penis, Steve, and he would have been like, "What?" Name a household chore that is literally a four-letter word. And here's what you said. These answers are looking good. Yes. 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 What was number one? Lucky. What, do you think the top answer was? what was it, Lucky? Tell me. Dust. Ugh. <laughs> As if. Old movie that just about everyone has seen at least once. Here's what you said. Those look like some mighty fine answers. Oh my God, is he hitting on me? Three. <laughs> Clearly, we don't have appreciators of real cinema. Gone with the wind. Next, is that real? You. Name something a really cheap airline might make passengers pay extra for. These were your answers. I think we've got a couple of good answers there. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Damn it. Some solid there. Guys, we gotta get these numbers back up. It's Look looking... That was our top answer. Food and drink is not cheap in this economy. Name something that would make you feel guilty if you did it all day long. So here's what you said. Both of these answers are looking strong. Boom. Number one answer. For our last Sleep. I don't feel guilty about that. that it's a beautiful good. day when I've slept all day long. You answered. And this will decide our winner. Yeah. Wow, that was a close Nine game. people said perfume. What was the number one answer, Lucky? Lucky! Lucky, what the fuck? Too bad you didn't win, but you'll still get a little something. We'll add all your points together and give you the total in cash. Play me, play me one more. All right, Subba Bomb, I swear to God, you better be the one that shows up. And I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. I swear to God, if it's some fucking level 600 family called Martha, I'm fu I'm I'm gonna have tears in my eyes. Should we keep playing? What's up, Billy? Couch versus couch. Random opponent. Single. Yup. You know what? I'm bringing her along with me. You're the only person not playing Elden Ring right now? That's because I'm the only person on Twitch that would lose viewership. Probably. <laughs> for playing it. Where's Sebobum? Where's Sebobum? We're not. We're looking for a Sebobum. 
Oh my god. Guys, watch out. Sebo Bomb is a feudy. Hey, make sure to mute this stream and not look at the chat, Sebo Bomb. All right, I got cameras in your house. Here comes another episode of Family Feud. I'm in fact playing it while watching it. If that counts, I'm, I don't know why I gave you that voice. Hello, everyone. It's me, Lucky McCoy. Thank you for joining us here. Why am I on the other side? This makes me feel really fucking uncomfortable. I feel really uncomfy right now. I think I'm on Lucky McCoy's bad side. Hope you lose this shit. Fuck you, man. You need to have a DLC with Steve Harvey. I wish I could fly Steve Harvey out for like my wedding so we could do family feud at my wedding. To find the best answers to our survey questions. Whoever scores the most points gets the upper hand in Wait, I need to reset the audio on this shit. Where the winning family will take home a huge cash bam, bam, bam. It's feud. It's a what? We're going to start with the face off. Let's get someone from each family down in front. Put me up there! I'm going to win. Is that Heisenberg? There's four answers for you to find. Fingers on buzzers. Here we go. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Well. Name something with stripes. A zebra. My friend. What do you zebra. Think? Yep. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Zebra. Yup. Number two answer: the American flag. Oh, say can you see? By the dawn's early light. I'm gonna say flag. Think you've got a good answer? I'm gonna say it. I see where you're going with this. I don't know, man. It's probably gonna be eh, but like maybe it's not, you know? You don't win the lottery if you don't buy the damn ticket. That's right, y'all. And then we're going to do stripes, 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 tiger, tiger. That's okie dokie. Uh, uh, what? There aren't many answers. Why do you say okie dokie okay. like that? Tiger. Oh my God. Sebo bomb. More like Sebo fraud. Something with stripes. Yeah. yeah. Stripe, stripe. Shirt? I don't know. I have striped shirts. Because if, if if flag counted, then like shirt maybe. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. I don't know in this shit. I don't know. I don't know what they want from me anymore. All right. Ouch. Sorry. Stripes. Stripe. Pants? No, it's not going to be pants. If it wasn't shirt, it's not going to be pants. All right. Let's hear it. So... Is there another striped animal? Cat. No, 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 no. There ain't no... There ain't no that, that doesn't exist. Stripes. Pizza. That slices. I don't know, man. Um, feel f a eek. Yes. Is this Is that really for? number three? Eek. Oh no! You struck out again. 
I swear to God, if Sobo Bomb ever did that to me outside of the context of this game, fired immediately. <sighs> um, stripes. The striped. Pajamas. Maybe? sure about that have you found the missing answer let's find out <laughs> okay i don't know what i was really thinking with that i don't know some pajamas have stripes on them socks crosswalk oh fuck those are good candy cane guys there's a lot of possibilities out there If Seb gets this, I'm gonna laugh so hard. If Seb gets this, I'm demodding him because this can't be serious. <laughs> no, take your time. Sweater? Oh, you're over. You're over. You're over, kid. You're cooked. You're cooked. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna lie. For a second, I thought the board... I, I, the board started, like, moving for me. You win, so the points go over here. We've got one answer left to reveal. Let's see number three. Let's see number three. Candy cane. OMG, y'all. You're high. <laughs> and you're Dave. I'm not gonna say who I'm I sent uh, I sent Prezo I sent Prezo a um, a screenshot of this girl I saw on Bumble who looked exactly like Prezo's girlfriend. Are you ready for another face off? It looked like face apt Prezo. It was insane. Get yourselves over here. Like when it popped up, I, I for, there was like maybe like a one second period where I thought that it was somebody using like fake pictures of Prezo to catfish on Estonian Bumble. Alright, seven answers. Time to lock in. Buzz in first to answer. Get ready. We asked a hundred people the following. Guys, don't be shocked when Sebo Bomb drops a seven bomb. Oh. Godzilla. <sighs> you know why Sobo Bomb said this? Huge Eminem fan. It's a good answer, but there's still a better one to be found. The number one Loch Ness. Loch Ness monster. Eh? Loser. I mean, it's in the name. It's got to be on the board, y'all. Nice try, but that ain't gonna cut it. Monster. You gonna play or pass? I hope you can bounce back after that last round. Here we go. Lucky. Got an answer for me? Lucky's wife is so lucky. Werewolf. All right, let's try it. Did our survey say it? Werewolf. What was that Rihanna and Shakira song called where they're like, I, right. I can't even look at chat, so I don't know why I asked it. I'm just going to like try to like read in my peripheral vision. I think I just saw Jake S in there. Did somebody just Jake S? Frankenstein's monster? Is it up there? Dude, I'm stupid. Why didn't I type that in? That's gonna be number one, isn't it? Monster. Dude, that text looks all answer. fucked up. Oh, put those goddamn peace signs down. What the fuck is that about? It's your go. What do you think? Bigfoot. Do we have a right answer? 
Only the only the rude and cold hearted would call Bigfoot a monster. Bigfoot is actually very sweet. Name any monster. I don't dude, look how close Lucky McCoy is getting to that bald motherfucker. You guys seeing that? Like what's going on, Lucky? Name any monster. Mike Wazowski. Surely. Surely Mike Wazowski. It's worth a shot. Do we have it? Vampire. I can try to uh... Ouch. Another strike. Oh. Eh, tough luck. I bet you've got a great answer for us. I'm friends with the monster that's under my bed. I'm trying to remember if she names any monsters in it. Get along with the voices inside of my head, ghoul. Hey. Our survey said. That's three. I'm gonna try typing in Mike Wazowski. The other team is in with a chance. It only takes one right answer to steal those points. We have like a hundred minutes to Give come up with this answer, so it's, it's fine. If, Give me a wrong one. But I don't know. Well, you know. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike. Alright. Wait, Mike Myers? Shrek, dude. Ogre. Ogre. That ga the game just gave me the answer. Look at this. My points come to They couldn't do it. No one getting Dracula is killing me. Now it's time to see what you missed. Alright, let's see these monsters that are so elusive. King Kong. Oh fuck. You know, I thought about King Kong, but I was like, that's just that's just a big monkey. Number three. Cookie monster. Shall we take a look at the scores? Things have tightened up a little on the leaderboard. Actual children answering. Another game. Next one, name any woman. Okay. Dude, There's Hillary Clinton, number one answer. I swear to God, if this game actually has that, Hillary Clinton will give you like 96 points. And then Michelle Obama will give you four. And that's like the two answers on the board. Top six answers on the board. Interested in doubling your money? Because now everything is worth twice as much. We asked 100 people to give us an answer. <sighs> Tell me something that has water in it. Fast fingers, my oh my god. Oh. Ocean. Ocean, bro. I feel like we had this one too, dude. We're beating the game. No wonder... Bottle? Sure, <laughs> yeah. Did our survey agree? Bottle. Yeah, nice one, dude. Nada. Uh, I'm sorry, but I remember the top <laughs> answer. I remember it. I remember it, dude. It's pool. It's pool. The top answer is pool. I don't remember any of the other ones though. Okay, sure. Let's see if that's a good answer. Swim yep. The, the I I remember not getting it. I'm sorry. This is this is going to be a, I mean I'm not going to get all of them, so I'm probably going to lose these points. Um But I, my ass is playing. Like you think I'm giving it away? Can sweep up the rest. I think Pond was one of them. Pond? Give me Pond! After this game, I want to watch funny reactions of someone on Family Feud saying, Fingering my bum hole! And then Steve is like, huh? Alright, Pond was not one of the answers. 
What has water in it? Soup. Soup has water in it. Uh... No, 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 no. Lake, dude. Lake's gotta be on. Lake, there's water in the lake. Interesting answer. Show me that answer. Lake. Another strike. I'm really about to strike out on a question that I've gotten before. If you get this, the money in the bank is yours. If not, the other family might steal it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Name something that has water in it. Toilet. That's a good answer. That's what you're going with? Toilet has water in it. Give it to me. Come on. Yup! Three! You lived a feud another day. <laughs> For now. <sighs> Oh my god, dude. Look, we've got two strikes. We gotta be careful. What has water in it? Pipes have water in them. Good. Okay. Let's see if the board's got it. Pipes. Three strikes. That's gonna do it for you. Ooh, it's nice. time for the other team to have a crack at this. Cucumbers, humans. Other family only need to find I thought I answered humans the last time this question came about. Tell me something that has Kathy water. Griffin got water in her barely at this point, but like, <laughs> dude, about that. I know Kathy Griffin would laugh at that, like. <laughs> Balloon. That's survey says balloon. <laughs> That's not the one. No, oh, that's crazy. Whoa. Me coming out of that round with a win is crazy. Let's tidy up the board and show those missing answers. Up would be a whole different that's movie if that were the case. Yeah, let's just say that movie would be. Oh. I thought we weren't doing those. Oh, dude, all these have like four answers. This is bullshit. This is all fucking bullshit. The second most popular answer is aquarium. Scores doing. Looks like the lead hasn't changed. Okay, I was trying to say, guys, your streamer is eating. The streamer's doing good. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds. It's the How is aquarium above ocean? No, for real. One person from both families to join me up here. Yeah, dude eating his own you uv uv The top six answers are on the board. Point values are tripled. I wonder what it, so it's still any I wonder if anyone's ever we got chewed on on someone's question. Name something you don't like about Christmas. In like a flash. What, what is, is this Christmas themed bullshit? My chats aren't hitting tonight. I got to go. Now you know what it feels like, President, when I'm in your chat for 30 minutes trying to get you to read out one fucking chat message and you ignore me. Let's take a you look. leave me in the chat. Desperately. Um, name something you hate about Christmas. Cold. Cold, you know what I mean? It's cold. But baby, it's cold outside. I've got to go home. You know what I mean? That's good. Let's see if that's a correct answer. I did just glance at chat accidentally, and the, the only answer I saw was somebody saying Christmas. So that that's really helpful. So what are you gonna do here? Play or pass? Uh, we're gonna play. We're gonna play lucky. Yes, you want to keep that hot streak going. Yeah, we want to keep that hot streak going. I feel like Sebo Bombs played 
Oh yeah, no, he did get to play one round. I was like, oh, I feel like he's just guessed once every single time. But no, no, that's not the case. Uh, you don't like about Christmas? Spending money? Spending? Spending. I don't know, man. <laughs> No, no, it's fine if we get an X on this. We'll just, uh, no, that's okay. That's fine. Doesn't even bother me. Because we're going back, and we're going back stronger with... Okay. Advanced strat? Someone said music. It's gonna give one point, but someone said music. Someone said, I don't like the Christmas music. There's seven answers. One of them's gotta be music. Like, somebody had to sneak that in there. Nice. And our survey says... Music. All right, man. I get it. I get it. I'm a fucking piece of shit. Don't like about Christmas. Don't like about Christmas. I don't know, man. I just love Christmas so much, man. I've never thought about hating it. Never in my life. Uh, Ads. You know what I mean? A lot of ads. Nope. Eh. Uh, clean up. I don't know, man. C Cleveland. <laughs> Feeling lucky? <laughs> I don't know. I I genuinely have no idea, man. If family wasn't one of the answers, um then I don't know what they're going for here. Parents maybe, I don't know. But that would be like family. If this is a seven point round, that's hilarious. All we need is one answer, and this family can steal the round. But also, if Subobomb does steal this, that is literally going to be maybe like 40 points worth of whatever, so it's not that big of a deal, really. Like, this is, this is going to be one of the fucking shittiest steals of all time. The thought of December ad rates no longer being active? Dude. December ad rates out of this world every single year and then January poof. I remember the f I remember when I was doing YouTube for the first year and then after Christmas the January ad rates hit and I was like holy fucking shit the chart literally went like bam oh shopping is a good answer oh fuck no fucking way man 21 points I got 21 points for this shitty ass round. Dude, let's see these answers. Estonians be like, the best part is the pig blood cake or whatever the fuck. Yeah, some would say that. It's called blood sausage. Nothing! Get off- get- don't fucking answer then! Don't answer then if your life is so perfect. Everything?! What the fuck is this bullshit?! Presents? Commercialism. Commercialism? Are you getting woke on me now? Cost. That's what spending! That spending should count. It looks like we're gonna have to play one more round. Fuck you, Lucky. I am not sucking your dick in the green room after this. After that round, nobody has reached 300 points. We gotta decide this game. Games made by fucking idiots? Yeah, dude, Ubisoft. Makes sense. Time for a sudden death. Who wants to play? Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Oh my god, it's a bald off. They're pitting two bald kings against each other. Fingers, all you need to do is buzz in first and give me the top answer to win this round. 100 people, we asked them the following. Well, name something you might see piled on the floor of a teenager's clothes. Purse. Clothes, give me the fucking win, dude. It's clothes. Clothes. Okay, then. Let's run. <laughs> Double features in 2025. Ah, ooh. You got it. Give 
give me the points, Lucky. Lucky, give me them points. Dude, is this about to be the biggest destruction in the history of the fucking universe, man? Give me those questions. Time to cash in quick. It's fast money. I like how they added that fucking feature into the game where there was like the Twitch chat family feud, but they couldn't spend five minutes making a skip button. In this round, you need to answer five surveys against the clock. You go first, and your opponent goes after, answering the same five questions. Whoever comes up with the and before a message appears in chat, it's like, uh, game developer here, uh, adding a skip button actually takes more than five minutes. Name a word or phrase that can follow the word pumpkin. Pumpkin patch. Liar, liar, pumpkin eater. Which one of the seven dwarves pumpkin carving, whatever. Bro, I don't remember their names. Dinky? Dinky? Is that one? Dinky? Dinky? Winky? I don't know, man. I read this shit in Estonian, bro. Winky? Winky? Wink? Uh... Grumpy? Oh, one of them's gotta be called Grumpy. Surely. What? What is this bullshit? Sleep. <laughs> Sleep, bro. My dog does not gaff. Name something Boy Scouts are famous for. Uh, badges. I don't. That's literally all I know. I don't know what they do in there. Name something that rumbles. Tummy. My tummy rumble. We're all out of questions. Joko. Thank you for the raid. Are these the worst questions ever? I don't know what's going on tonight. We've literally gotten, like, the worst questions imaginable. You're gonna have to work Joko, thank you for the raid. Hope you had an awesome stream. I'm about to, I'm about to win huge in this family feud game. You'll have to take another guess. And here we go. Whoa, okay, that woke me up. Jesus. Word or phrase that can follow the word pumpkin. Which one of the seven dwarves describes you in the morning? Name something your dog okay, if Sleepy's one, Grumpy's got to be one, dude. I, what the? Why did I think Dinky and Winky were one? <laughs> I don't know, because in Estonian, I don't, I don't even remember what their names were in Estonian, to be fair. But <laughs> nah, Sebel Bomb is fucking like, what the hell? <laughs> what the? Fuck? Mewfer, thank you. Name something, Boy Scout. Oh, Teletubbies, bro. Nah, I know they had Sebel Bomb's ass fucking chopping trees and Boy Scouts or some shit. Name something that rumbles. All right. Earthquake? <laughs> yeah, we're winning this. That's all she wrote. All right, it's time to see how things turned out for y'all. Yeah, we winning this shit, guys. Low key. I think we're winning here, man. First up, we wanted you to tell us. Bernie, I lost 40k egg points this stream. Hey, we, we bounce back from that. That's two strong answers. Ooh, Pi's gonna beat it. Hey! Oh yeah. On our next question, we asked Which one of the seven dwarves describes you in the morning? This is what you said. I think you can be pleased with those answers. Come on, give me Grumpy. What the... the one what? Here's our next question. We asked 100 people, name something your dog does when Family Feud comes on TV. Let's remind everyone what you said. You should feel confident... Barks. Oh my God, Barks going to be the number one answer because, oh, this show really excites... What is going on? Number four. Name something Boy Scouts are famous for. 
The answers you gave. Let's reveal what these are worth. Ah! One of them got the comeback is so on, dude. I'm going to get... Uh, my, my answer here is going to have 600 points. The top points. The last question. Name something that rumbles. This is how you answer. Tummy, dude. Tummy. 256 points. Give me 100. That's how you win the game. What is the number one answer? We have a winner in the house. Don't be downhearted. You won't be going away with nothing. We'll add up your score from Fast Money and the other rounds, and you'll be taking home the total. It was stomach? No fucking way, man. Tummy is stomach, okay? Tell me your stomach for us that like to have a little fun in our lives. See you next time. You're 46. You're 46. No, no, let's see. Family Feud Craziest Answers. Family Feud Craziest Answers compilation. I want to see... 50 Funniest Answers with Steve Harvey. Funniest answers ever on Family Feud with Steve Harvey. Hey, Miss Sherry, name something you'd hate to find in your mouth when you wake up in the morning. Cover your ears, kids. Your husband? <laughs> what the? I didn't hear that. Yes, you did. No, you heard that. She said, she said her husband. Your husband? <laughs> name something you'd hate to find out stop working right when you need it. A dildo? Oh. Huh? Huh? A dildo? <laughs> what? Hold on a minute. Why did he say it like that now? A dildo. A dildo. That's not him. What the? Who is that? A dildo. Name a part of Mrs. Sanders that Colonel Sanders might say reminds him of a chicken. Nah, they're farming, bro. They're farming. This is like when I moan on stream. It's just, it's just farming. For JJ. Where have you ever seen the chickens for JJ? Where? <laughs> Name something you don't like if it's too long. A man's junk. Sure, <laughs> this is 18 minutes of this. Something you hope happens to all the guys who I hope they die, them. Steve. Today, his penis get little. <laughs> <laughs> well, today want him to have a tiny penis. What, Mr. Softy? Hold on a minute. Sorry, y'all. Let me just hold. Oh, I th 11. Fill in the blank. I wish my husband had a better blank. Better penis. <laughs> Did it. Okay, like. Oh, little Miss Shy Girl just like, came out the shell on national TV. Oh, they have what matching outfits. With his shout ass. Look at this guy. He's fucking losing it over here. Had a better thing. We ask a hundred. That's men. not. You cannot. Whatever. Men, pretend you're single again. Where would you go tonight? To the uh, whorehouse. <laughs> Granny. <laughs> Brothel, the bunny ranch. Oh, man. Talk to a hundred married women. You got divorced. What's the first thing you buy with the alimony? Steve, she gonna have to get that battery-operated boyfriend, that Bob. She gonna have to get it. She gotta get it. I'm just saying. You gonna get that battery-opted thing there for the, the, the alimony check. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I swear to God, I understood like two words. I was like, what? The battery-operated boyfriend? 
I get what he was like going for now, but like in the moment, I was like, what? What is anybody saying right now? To ride on in the news. A lawnmower. <laughs> If no one saw you, what would you love to ride on in the nude? A pole. <laughs> this guy's like, holy crap, I never heard any of these. There's a lot of jobs available. <laughs> Kelly wants to ride a pole. <laughs> yes, I'm a stripper, but I tell people I'm a what? Nurse. A nurse. What the hell? So what do you do? Well, I'm a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm legitimately a nurse. I'm actually a nurse. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I gotta see the naked grandma clip. Okay. You gotta this 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 thumbnail's crazy. Steve's getting his uh, derp on. The naked grandma family's full run on the feud, an hour and forty minutes. Something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. Naked grandma. Naked, huh? <laughs> Dude. see that either I know you're right okay I, nobody wants to see a naked grandma but what are the chances of you breaking in the house and running up into your grandmama naked Just looking for a naked grandma in the house is it gonna show I don't know I've never seen the full <laughs> clip what wow. How the fuck did that work? What is this? Watch this after. Oh, dude. This video is awesome. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this shit, dude. Someone pinched his cheek. He's walking. He's walking. He's all, he's all serious. I'm like, I gotta, get, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. I gotta. <laughs> dude, look at that. Bro, what's got you smiling? Yeah, la, la. Whatever that fucking audio goes. What is this? Videos. Don't want to see a naked grandma. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is that? What is that? Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. Naked grandma. Naked, huh? <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> Something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. <laughs> Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. Naked. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen. We got na naked grandma one more time. Okay. Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. Naked grandma. One more. I think we gotta get one more of those. Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. <laughs> Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. <laughs> Naked gum gum. Name something a burglar would not want to see Gretch when he breaks monster, into a house. Alright, one more. One more, that's it. Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. All right, I got it. It's out of my system. <laughs> Dude, we're not even halfway through. Hey, that's the end of the stream. All right, okay, all right, I'll do it again. One more, and then, and then we're out. Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. <laughs> the fucking music cutting back in is so good. We're watching the whole clip. I don't give a fuck. Name 
Dude, we didn't even get to the good part. Dude. Name some. Name something. Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Oh, what? Come on. Dude, I actually just okay. got edged That's so hard. Oh. That's it. Oh, come on. I'll see you guys later. I'll see you in a couple days. I, it is currently Saturday. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, um, we don't need to watch this fucking streaming schedule. Can you watch this next? What is this? No, oh, this isn't Family Feud. God, Timbaland. So good. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Little fucking edit. What is this? Big man in the club, call me the hero. Sipping hot cum at Cafe Nero. Big man in the club. What the hell is this guy doing? Like seriously. Holy shit. It's crazy what they can do with their voices when they're not being directed by people on the glee set. You should watch this. What is this? All right, guys, let's watch the new Chew music video. Damn, with viewer counts like these, it must be looking rough on Twitter, eh? I actually, I feel bad about streaming this. I'm like stealing viewers right now. Very valuable viewers. Holy shit, Mike Wazowski. I... You're so mean. Me and Chu are in the same boat. Holy shit, dude, this is like the Mario movie. Don't say that. Okay, everything I'm saying is people are saying don't say that. Cowboy hat. Can I say that? Can you say, she's so pretty and nice? Okay. <clears throat> she's so pretty and nice. Love her. I'm going to be viewbotting this all night. Can you say it again with more emotion? She's so pretty and so nice. I love her. Make 
Guys, uh, football. Wait, which which group was she a part of again? Luna? Uh Luna. Bro. <laughs> a video I'm being recommended on this right now is Richard Dawkins and Brandon Flowers in religious dispute, and it's like the lowest moment of Brandon Flowers' career. It's like when he somehow ended up on some fucking British TV show where they like there was he was forced to debate an atheist and he just it, it's like a fucking rough watch. It's a rough watch. <clears throat> Not Richard Dawkins, he's incel bait. I think any like uh, atheist that goes on talk shows with the idea of being an atheist is probably incel bait. Can you watch Brandon Flowers' funny moments compilation? Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna watch the uh, clicking the ending stream button uh, compilation. Maybe. What do you guys think about that compilation? That sounds fucking awesome. You know what I mean, guys. Addy, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you. Thank you. Um. My mom is almost on the Seven Fishes episode of The Bear. Pray for her. You know what I mean? Uh, what do we get a sub? Yeah, we got Addy. Thank you, Addy. Thank you. Uh, I think I got everybody. I think I did. Um, part of me kind of wants to do like a like an alt stream where I play Toontown for an hour or two. There's probably like a new Discover Weekly or some shit, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it. We'll see. Probably not, but who knows, man? Maybe I'll go live in like 20 minutes. I don't know, probably not. But there's a 99% chance I won't. Thanks for everybody that was watching, though. Thank you, guys. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, eh? I'll be back tomorrow. Uh... All right. Mm. I'm gonna be honest, don't even know your alt. Is that bad? Super Monkey Balls, 1999. No double feature this weekend, I don't think. <laughs>